Ah, is this thing on? <laughs> what's happening, everyone? Hello, hello, what's going on? Hi, how are you? Welcome to even more Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet, where we're going through a, a very fun adventure. We got some work to do today. Thanks so much for coming. Hello, hello. Who's all here? Hi. Where are my where are my like people that are joining us right now, right here, live, turning on notifications, being a part of the entire uh, adventure that we're doing over here? Thanks so much for coming, everyone. Who's got their notifications on? I hope you do. Wow. I see a lot of fun people over here. Thank you so much for hanging out. It's all good to see you. Grisama, Slitherpuff, a star, what's going on? A uh, Deanna, Springy, Laney. There's my chapter team. Yes, those guys are the best. And J Mac. Hey, speaking of the best. Hey, Aaron Kelly. Hello, good to see you. Hey, Christy, holding things down. Sky Fox, let's do it. Playing along with, I see. Good to see you, Aaron. Uh, who else is here? Lady, hello, Katie B, Laura, uh, CJ, all of you. Zero Shiki, hi. Feels amazing, man. Yeah, it does. It really does. I've been really, really hard on um, on working on some tutorial videos today. I literally spent five, I think five hours, <laughs> editing down the shiny video, man. Oh my gosh. I just, I just want to stream with you guys for a little bit. Is that cool? Can we do it? Can we do that slap shot? Can we have a little bit of time? Yo, five hours on a video? Let's talk about that. <laughs> Where am I? <laughs> Anyway, thanks so much for uh, for joining us. Um, right over here, uh, I worked on making a... The Tips and Tricks tutorial video playlist is looking pretty packed right now. I'm liking it. I was moving some things around. Um, if you didn't already take a look right over here, the shiny guide, uh, yeah, that's already done. It teaches you everything you need to know about shiny Pokemon. And there is some really crazy stats on the shiny odds on what you have to do. I'm so excited to share that with you. So anyway, um, spent some hours working on that video, so definitely go take a look at it a little bit later. Um, other than that, if you guys want some more tips and tricks tutorials, we got them all over here on that. Uh, likewise, if you guys want a little bit of spoilers on, and you wanna see what happens, because Abdallah's going too slow, then you guys can watch the full game walkthrough right over here, Scarlet and Violet. It's gonna be a fun time. Anyway, um, I did want to say thanks to all of you guys helping out with uh, supporting the merch over at AbdallahSmash.com. I saw a couple orders come through today. You guys are absolutely amazing. This is the shirt that I'm wearing over here. It's so hilarious. It's got a smug grin and uh, it, it's very great. So thank you guys so much for doing that. Uh, we also have some play sessions and some autographs available here. And we do have a brand new memberships that we're doing exactly on my own abdallahsmash.com versus YouTube. So definitely take a look at that. Um, I wanted to give some shout outs to some of you guys that are here. Uh, we had Superstar that became a member of the Abdallah Nation Elites over here. Uh, Tammy, Nicholas RT, Springy, uh, Neha, Pretty A14, um, Alana, thank you so much. Christina, Starlord, JMac, all of you guys that are uh, a part of it more recently. Thank you so much for doing that. It means the world to me. Thanks for your support. So become an, an Abdallah Nation Elite by going to abdallahsmash.com. All right glasses are coming off. You guys ready to do this? Those are introductions out of the way. Thanks so much for watching. I don't, how many guys, hands up, all of you guys at home have watched the previous episodes of Pokemon Scarlet right over here. How many guys have seen that? Because we have gone like in some crazy challenge run that I don't even know how we did it. I have literally no idea how we managed our way through with these baby Pokemon that are barely level 30. Oh my gosh, I have no idea how we did it, man. How did we do that? All right, well, we got we got a little bit of work that we gotta do today, so, whoo! Some of you guys, hands up, hands up, some of you guys. Of course, my chapter team did, Laney was there, I saw you. CJ Live, you saw me? Man, it was, it was pretty intense. Mm-hmm. Ooh, that's some good coffee. That's some good Snorlax. All right, I'm ready to go. Uh, things are looking good. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what would be a good command um, for all those random questions? Like, your thoughts on the issues? What do you think about the frame rate, Abdallah? We need a command that says, hey, go over here to the Q&A session. Your question's already been answered there. <laughs> <laughs> Where I literally hosted a Q&A session, I just let it all out. So, like, yes. I answered your question somewhere over there. <laughs> That's what we need. All right. Anyway, get on. Okay, so let's do some work. Um, man, we got we to gotta map out what we're going to do. 
Um, we're gonna map out what we're going to do. Oh, look at this earthworm. Yo, an earthworm outbreak? Oh my gosh, an earthworm outbreak. I kind of want to go hit that, but I don't have a shiny charm. Dang it. Okay, um, so what we're doing today, uh, I said earlier I'm going to make my way up this mountain. I got to get like six levels though. I got to somehow grind out six levels of my Pokemon, get it evolved, so that we are ready to start doing this work. So let's make our way to the north. Um, should I get a, a Mudbray or a Dug Trio? I mean, it's a poison type Team Star. My team over here is kind of Garbanzo Beans. It, they're really not that great. We're just making do with what we got. Except for Satitan. He's actually he's, he's actually pretty cool. Um, I don't think that he's got enough uh, move pool variation. Uh, I've got Bounce and Flail and Avalanche and Ice Shard. Like, he's defensively bulky, but he's not going to do anything. Halves the damage from Fire and Ice type moves? Like, that's... Who cares? Uh, Volt Absorb? Yo, you mean to tell me Palmo has Volt Absorb? Oh, that's why they weren't using electric moves. Oh, so that was actually really good. Uh, anger Point, Thick Fat, Anger Shell, uh, Well-Baked Body. Like, these are decent. I think I need to move around here and maybe find, like, a Doug Trio. If I can come over here, find a Doug Trio, I can possibly do some work. So, yeah, let's go do that. Um, I want to be able to go and... Um, I want to go to the north. Let's go to the Ice Mountain. I'm going to bring my uh, my little croc. He needs six levels. I think we can get six levels up over there and just do some grinding along the way. I think that'll be super easy. And then we're golden. You guys, does that sound like a good plan? Does that sound like a good plan for today? Our goal for the stream is to get two badges, uh, finish off one more Team Star, and, um, you know, actually Team Star is kind of lame. I don't really care about them. We could do that later. My goal is to get two badges and then finish off the last of the Titans. Is that is that good? Good goal? All right, cool, man. Let's do it. Let's do it, man. Boink. All right, I'm ready. I hope you guys are ready too. Let's do this. Let's jump back into Pokemon Scarlet. Uh, so what we're going to do right now uh, is we are going to go all the way up to the north. All the way up to the north right over this way. I think we came um, over here. I'm going to hopefully find a way through here. It looks like there's a little bit of um, an opening this way that I can possibly start <laughs> moving towards this mountain. I don't know, man, but we're going to try. We're going to absolutely try our best. So uh, let's try to aim for our destination right over here. And uh, I guess I could fly to the other side here on the east side of Zappa Pico. Our team is not the best. We got a brand new teammate in the form of Satitan. He's going to be arguably our strongest Pokemon since we just got him and he's at level 35. So yeah, you better believe he's strong. Oh, uh, we got a Diglett over here. I don't think I, I, don't think I need him. No, I'm only going to settle for, like, Doug Trio, dude. So here we go. Let's do the work, folks. Uh, moving through over here. I think I see that Pokemon Center over that way. So let's just kind of move. I think that's generically it. Yeah, yeah, it's right over there. There's an Orthworm outbreak. We don't necessarily have to... Um, we don't have to go over to it. I don't really want to mess around with outbreaks or anything like that right now because I don't have the shiny charm and it's not really worth going over here and um, destroying them unless unless my my little guy can do the work, right? Like these guys are steel type, so it only makes sense that they're level 28 and I can incinerate them. But of course, we're also very, very slow and we're going to get rocked. If I don't one hit KO these guys, then it's really not worth doing. Orthworm is is actually very strong. And I'm still alive after that. Here's the incinerate. It's not... Yeah, I mean, we need the experience. I'm low-key debating on using some rare candies on this guy, but... Hey, you know what, 31? Dude, that was like a level and a half, just about. So, not bad for Orthworm. We can go over there and potentially do some work. So, how about this? Um, since it's an Orthworm outbreak, what I'll do right now is we'll do a little bit of training for my Pokemon and we'll put him into let's go mode and then we'll see exactly how much experience we could get from those Orthworm, especially if our brand new Pokemon is going to be the backbone of these next upcoming uh, Pokemon battles, right? Because the next two gyms are going to be none other than Next two gyms are going to be none other than uh, a ghost gym, 
And we also have a... Ooh, there's a Doug Trio. Low-key, I want to collect that thing. Uh, it's a Ghost Gym, and it's also going to be an Ice Gym. So that's what we need to take a look at. Beat him up. Go, fight. Yo, dude, he got frozen. <laughs> Where's the experience? 481? I mean, that's not a lot. Dude, come on, man. We just gotta go. Orthworms are way too strong. See, that's the thing that I don't want to have to do, right? Like, I don't want to have to sit over here and do this grind. Not what I'm interested in. But, I mean... Yo, watch out, dude. That's a Doug Trio. You're gonna get owned, son. Yo, keep an eye out if we see a shiny one, yeah? I mean, it's not too bad, actually, going this outbreak. I mean, I'm already 32. We started off at level 30, right? But these guys are a little shy. Like, some of them are, like, out and about. Some of them are shy. I think that's enough for now. Okay, that's just, it's just boring for me. It's boring to watch, too. So, like, let's go to this, uh, let's go to this gym over here. Um, or sorry, this Pokemon Center. And we're just gonna make our way to the north. That, that's exactly what, uh, we're gonna set out to do. So, uh, it's gonna be easy to run straight through here, go through this little path this way. And then I'm hoping we can just climb up to the top. I'm really hoping that that's the way that it's gonna be. Otherwise, we're gonna have to take another way around... Uh, and since we don't have climbing or flying, that's also really hard. This is going to be the little Team Star update. Where Cassiopeia and our boy... What's it, What's the name? <laughs> Clive? <laughs> what's up, Clive? Abdallah. Hey, Director Clavel. I mean, Clive. Glad to see you got my name uh, committed to memory. Uh, now let's pick up our conversation from where we left before. As I mentioned, I joined Operation Starfall to resolve a sticky situation to find out the reasons behind Team Star's odd behavior. Above all, I want to know why the students in Team Star have stopped coming to school. And just like Cassiopeia, I want the team to disband for good. Since joining Operation Starfall with you, I've already had some success in opening up a dialogue with Team Star. And I think I'm starting to understand things more clearly. But I don't have enough information just yet. That's why I want to speak to the students uh, from Team Star's other squads as well. If you intend to take on another base, uh, know that you can count on me for backup. Until then, see you around. We'll look around the area. I mean, we could do it. Oh, man. You're really pushing me through, Mr. Clavel, aren't you? I mean, Clive. Clivel. All right, I don't remember stepping this far into this area, right? Yo, dude teleported me. Dude straight up teleported me into here. Oh, my gosh, there's um, a little bit... A little baby. I might need him. Ooh, look at it. It's Grafii. So if you take a look over here at the trees, these are the uh, the little graffiti trees uh, that are over here, which are so cool because this little uh, Pokemon named Grafii, he, he marks territory by, like, putting little graffiti all over the place. So that is so fun. All right, go. Beat him up. Like, I'm really interested in finding... Since it's a ground-type area i might low-key just try our team out right that's a that's a doug trio yeah you know i oh man yo get over here get out good <laughs> all right if i catch this if i catch this uh he's gonna join my team dude that hurts man Oh, 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 man. Wow, Dugtrio's strong. All right, here we go. Like I said, if he survives one of these hits, I'm going to catch him. And then we're just going to use him for Team Star. I'm just going to knock it out because it's right here, right? Like, let's just do it. Here you go. If you survive the bite, I'm catching you. Okay, that's two. Yeah, yeah, I got two bites. And this Doug Trio is ours. Oh my gosh, he's so strong. So you can see over here that if anyone's uh, struggling, if you guys are struggling to like beat any of Team Star or anything like that, just look around the area right outside and you'll be able to find a brand new Pokemon that'll probably carry you. Dude, come on, man. He'll probably carry you throughout the next upcoming battle. And I think I'm going to put that to the test. 
All right, here. Here's an Ultra Ball, man. Just take it. Go, go, go. Dude, come on. Like, I can't nuzzle him because he's a ground type, so, like, that's not going to happen. Here we go. Come on, Team Star. One, two, three. Guys. Why, why are these triplets so mean? What is... Did you guys ever think about what's underneath a Doug Trio? Like, their, their little heads are poking out of the ground, right? There we go, thank you. Level 26 is, like, right around our level. It's kind of where we're at. We've beaten opponents at level 35 and 37. So, let that just sink into you right over here. Uh, it's three heads bob separately up and down to loosen the soil nearby, making it easier to burrow. Oh, cool. See their mouths, their pink mouths wide open. Let's add it to our party. Uh, so poison type, I'm not going to bring the dog. We're going to put the dog away for just a little bit. I'll bring him right back after we're done with Doug Trio. Uh, because I think that Doug Trio is going to be really good for us to uh, pretty much beat this upcoming uh, little boss right over here. So that being said, I want to, I think I have some soft sand. Didn't I buy some soft sand? Let's take a look. Uh, we're going to give an item. I could have sworn I bought that as like an other item here. Other items. I did not. I got a hard stone. Oh, dang. I got a hard stone. Oh, man. I could have used that. <laughs> I didn't buy soft sand. That's fine. Uh, Shell Bell is going to be pretty good. Uh, yeah, we got we got some stuff happening over here. So Doug Trio. Let's take a look at our brand new Doug Trio. And uh, let's see what moves it has. I saw that it had Bulldoze, which is pretty good. That's the move that we're most likely going to use the most out of everyone. Uh, Sand Tomb and Night Slash. Wow, that's going to be pretty interesting. I'll have it learn Night Slash because that's like really, really strong. It's better than regular Slash. So we got Mud Slap, we got Bulldoze, we got Sucker Punch. Uh, let's see what else. Mud Slap is like for accuracy. Sand Tomb is not good. Scratch, Sand Attack, Growl, Try Attack, Astonish. No, no, no. This is good. Yeah, yeah, and you can see over here that his Terra type is indeed going to be uh, the ground type. So, you know what? We've got a temporary teammate that's going to bail us out, and I'm perfectly fine with that. Because enlisting the help of temporary teammates is really what Endgame is all about, because I got my eyes set on which Pokemon we're going to get and populate our Endgame team with. My mind is set on exactly who we're going to need. I need a Vaporeon. I got a really cool Ice-type Pokemon that I'm going to be so excited to have. Um, and then, of course, we can get Lucario, Garchomp, and Dragonite, like, super easily um, a little bit later on. So, anyway, so that was a good 10 minutes of me catching a Doug Trio. Congratulations. We're just going to go beat up whoever this is in uh, um, in this area. Uh, at least, I hope we can. That, that's my goal, is to come over here and, and hopefully beat this Team Star grunt. Oh, my gosh. Can I jump in? Oh, I can't jump in there because that's a Team Star. You can't just, like, infiltrate their base. They're like, hey, man. There, you can't do that. All right, I'm in. That's right. Okay, so what happens is they just kind of warp you to the very beginning saying, hey, if you want in, ring the bell by the entrance. Okay, so here we go. Let's do this. Team Star is here. I got some nice ground type Pokemon. We should be able to knock them out. Um, I do not have any psychic type moves. That would be really cool if I did, like maybe psychic fangs on some other guys, but that's okay. Here's a, here's a here's a grunt. Do me a favor and go home already, will ya? No, I want to see the boss of the Navi squad. Take me to Don Atticus. Like I said, kid, the boss told me not to let any outsiders pass these gates. That includes you. I don't care, I'm not leaving until you let me talk to Don Atticus. Give me a break, you little doofus. The people over here seem to be arguing about something. What do you want to do? Uh, let's get a little closer. Huh? Oh, great. Here comes another rando to ruin my day. I didn't think grunt work for Team Star newbies would be this much of a chore. <sighs> Hold on, Mr. Grunt. I think this boy might be Abdallah. Wait, Abdallah, the kid who picked a fight with Team Star? Yep, that's me. I knew it. Oh, boy, this ain't good. Everyone else in the base is still asleep since we were up uh, last night playing video games. Sounds familiar. Leave him to me, Mr. Grunt. I'll buy some time for you to go and wake up the others. Yeah, and what's in it for you? Don Atticus will be in danger if there's no one here to defend the base. I owe that man my life. He's my dear compadre. 
And when crisis calls, no one has, uh, one has no choice but to rally those dear to him, no matter the cost. Yeah, I have no idea what you're on about, kid, but thanks for the big assist. All right. Uh, all right, you villain. If you're after Don Atticus, be prepared to face my wrath. Yeah! Okay, this is a small child who... I don't know, his life got saved by a Don Atticus? It's Yusuf. All right, Yusuf, what's up, man? Gulpin, uh-oh. Uh, let's see, let's see. Can Crocolore take him on? I mean, maybe if I terrestrialize. We could. We do have a Doug Trio as backup in case we need it. Uh, the reason why I subbed out Fido or uh, Doc's Bun, the reason why I subbed that out is because he's a fairy type and all of these Pokemon are going to be poisoned. So that's going to be super effective damage against me. And I don't really have anything to retaliate. So Doc's Bun is going to be the weakest link for this specific battle. Gulpin, that's a two hit KO, unfortunately. Here's a stockpile, doesn't matter, we got it. So stockpile is kind of cool. You get your defense and special de defense raised by one stage. And then uh, there's one move, I think it's called like throw up or something like that. And like you you throw up everything that you stockpiled. And it's very strong. So that's kind of fun. All right, here we go. So 336. Uh, here's a Shrewdle. No, we're going to stay. 336 experience is me beating up one singular Orthworm in the let's go mode. So let's talk about that for a second here. We just need to get this croc to level up. So maybe Gulpin was just a little bit more bulky. Yeah. Doug Trio's gonna do a lot of work with this with this next area here. I talk big, but I'm no warrior. Uh sorry, kid. Thanks for the money though. Nice pants. That's actually a nice blazer, kid. Yusuf, man. Yusuf's good. Don Atticus, I'm sorry I failed you. Abdallah, are you alright? I was standing watch when I heard a ruckus all of a sudden. I got worried that maybe something had happened to you over here. Ah, uh, no fair. You had backup this whole time? Is this boy one of the Academy students? He doesn't look like he's from Team Star. You're right, I'm not a member of Team Star, but Don Atticus is my compadre. I have to see him no matter what. Well, clearly you have reasons for being here. Abdal, I'd like to ask this boy some questions. You go on ahead and get started on the base. Uh, might I borrow you for a chat? Uh, uh, my man? <laughs> Don't worry, I won't bite. Oh, gosh. <laughs> oh, man, that's too... Dude, Clive's hilarious. Uh, nice work dealing with the guard. Within that base lies Team Star's poison crew, the Navi Squad. Their boss, Atticus, designs the outfits for the team. You could say he has clever hands. Uh, the guy's also a bit of an eccentric. You can never tell what he's going to do next. So, since it's beyond us to predict how he'll respond to our declaration of war, just take out as many of the squad's Pokemon until Atticus shows his face. Ring the bell in the gates when you're ready. Time to wipe off the Navi squad off the map. So, it appears that they're around level 30. That's a little bit more doable. Uh, Crocolore, man. And then this Dugtree over here, he might not be the key to winning. He might not be the key to winning, but we're going to try it out. Uh, the other Pokemon that we're going to need in order to... Yeah, I think these three are going to be doing the work. That's fair. Uh, so let me do this. Let me not crouch. Uh, and let's just let's just go. Ready to challenge? Use the first three Pokemon of our party. Um, we don't have three ground-type Pokemon, but Crocolore can do some work, as well as Dugtrio is going to be fine. I can leave him. He's got the type advantage. Cloth resists poison. So we might have to do some work. Seems the folks behind Operation Star Fool are finally making a move against our base. You know what that means, gang. Time for us to shine bright and, and uh, leverage our teammates? I don't remember. Or avenge our teammates. Yeah, that's what they said. Uh, and hey, little intruder, just so you know, if you've got the skills to beat 30 of our Pokemon within 10 minutes, our boss might deem you worthy to meet in person. Huh, break a leg. Okay. All right, 30 of Team Star's Pokemon. Let's do this. All right, this is... Oh, I got... I got... Yeah, Crocolores. That, those guys are steel. That's easy. Who's this? Oh, I need Crocolore for those, but that's fine. Here, go J Dugtrio. Do it. Ver Varoom, man. 
Oh, this is poison. Who's gonna come out? Cloth? Yeah. Cl oh, gosh. Cloth's getting owned. I don't think he can make that. Yeah, Cloth is done. That was not good. Yeah. crocolor has got that under control. These guys? Doug Trio, I hope. Yeah, you know what? This is good. This is good. I just put Cloth out in the wrong, in the wrong uh, team here. Cloth's a, a rock type, so he's beating up those bug types over there. That's perfect. I have to be very careful on who I bring out next. Uh, I think Crocolore is next. I'm going to look around for a Vroom. I don't think I can take those guys on. I wish I could kind of switch and, and choose who I'm actually bringing out over here. Grafii? I don't really want to fight them. There we go. I can take these guys on. There we go. Because those are bug. And these guys are... Uh, poison. Dugtrio's doing the work. Yeah, yeah. So we could take on any of the bugs. We're kind of picking and choosing over here. Who's next? Uh, Cloth? Yeah, that's not a good... It's, a, it's not a good matchup. But he's doing the work. Dude, Cloth is such a champ. Cloth is a real good teammate. He's doing his best out there. Knocking out as many as possible. Alright, who's next up? Uh, we got this guy. Go ahead. Take him out. Ah! Go, Doug Trio. Yo, Cloth is out here doing his absolute best. That's <laughs> so funny. A lot of my Pokemon are weakened. I can't go to a menu. Hold on. Use a Team Star vending machine. Okay, good. I think I, I used the vending machine right before it ended, and now I'm healed up. <laughs> Is that right? Is that just a free heal? Did I not know that the entire time? Alright, here we go, folks. I'm going to try to use my Crocolore as, as best as I can until I cannot anymore. And then we'll see what's up. We'll absolutely see what's up. So, let's do it. Oh, hello, Atticus. Don Atticus. Ready, 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 ready. Don Atticus with the Poison-type Pokemon. And then the Reverum is going to turn Poison, too. Pray forgive my sudden entry, tis I, Atticus. You're that scoundrel Abdallah, I take it. You have some nerve uh, bearing your fangs at Team Star. Come then, villainous wretch, I plunge into grim po I plunge into grim poison shall be your well-deserved fate. On guard. So he talks in a very unique manner. Let's do it. Let's knock him out. A backflip. Wow. And painted nails. Alright, I'm in. Stunky. Mm, I don't know if I can make this hit. I don't know if I want to burn my terrestrialization either. Not but punishment awaits thee, wretch. A plague on your house. Okay. Sure, dude. Level 32? He used toxic just now? What a guy. That's rude. Okay, so I'm going to use yawn. Mmm. I just got toxic. That's not good. It's not a good status effect. Now that I'm looking at this, I don't have any really good moves against this thing. He's like Poison Dark, right? So Poison Dark is weak against... I don't know, Ground? I mean, I could bring in Dugtrio and like Terrastalize. Yeah, let's try it. Let's try it. He's going to go to sleep in the next turn, so I'll be fine. Skun Tank. Don't get hit. Good. That would have hurt a lot. That's a combination. So, uh, if you're poisoned, if your opponent's poisoned, and you use Vino Shock, that is going to do massive damage. Wait, why can't I Terrastalize? Did I not charge my orb? I terrestrialized against Yusuf! 
What? Dude, I terrestrialized against Yusuf, man. Oh, no. And then I didn't heal up. Oh, great. Oh, man, dude. That's bad. Wow, Yusuf, man. Yusuf is the big brain long game strat right over here. Yep. That's the long game Yusuf over here, man. This guy. You know, I was gonna use Sucker Punch. We're done, dude. I'm out. There's, there's no winning. D Doug Trio was my, was my trump card. <laughs> You're really gonna flinch me. I don't think we're gonna get a mulligan. I came in like... Yeah, I don't know, dude. I don't know how we're gonna do this. Reverum. I'm a little poisoned. I can do some fire damage. You know what? I don't need terrestrialization. Challenge accepted. We don't need all ground type Pokemon. We can work your other uh, typings here. I'm alive. 46. Speed felt. That's fine. That's a lot of damage. And he's going to try another Bulldoze, man. He's going to do another Bulldoze. I don't have anyone that can take it. Mm, except for you. You can actually take that very well. And he is a, he's a steel, he's a steel, what, ghost type? Steel poison type? Let's try out our new Pokemon, man. Nice. He's bulky. Yeah, this guy's bulky. He'll take that. Look at this Titan over here. All right, we're going to go a little bit of uh, Avalanche. Ooh, except for the Iron Head. Okay, that was good. The Iron Head really hurt. Okay, so Titan's doing the work. Send out Muck. Let's take a look. So, so Titan got rocked. Muck... I can paralyze Muck. <laughs> man, my team is not the best. I just need to get these badges, man. And my team is gonna be elite, trust me. Come here, Muck. Enjoy this nuzzle. Good, get paralyzed. Sludge wave. How much? Okay, so Sludge Wave did a lot of work. Um, so... Anyone that can, like, lower... Oh, dude, I got Zen Headbutt? I forgot about that. Great. This is perfect. Um, what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to spend... Crocolore? All right, I'm going to sacrifice my, my guy right now. I'm going to give a super potion to Crocolore. Oh, we can make this. We can absolutely do this. Yeah, dude, I got, I got Tauros with Zen Headbutt. I totally forgot that he learned that move like two seconds ago. So with that being said, like, guess what? We win. Come on, Tauros, bail me out, man. It's fine. That does, that's not very effective. Or is it? 50, hmm, 56 out of 96. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a workup. Watch this strat right here. I'm gonna do a workup in hopes that he gets the full paralysis. 
I have to set up on this guy, otherwise we're not going to be set up for the next Pokemon. Yes! Yes! Okay, I can get two now. Yeah, yeah, let's go. Watch this, watch this. I'm, I'm not going to get... I'm just going to do the plus two. I can survive that and then heal him. As long as I don't get poisoned. Okay, so here's a Hyper Potion. So now I'm at plus two physical attack. I mean, using an X attack would have been better. You know, I really have to start grabbing those items, dudes. Sludge Wave. There we go. So now I've got enough health. I think, yeah, 54. I'm at half health right now. We're just going to use a Zen Headbutt. Finish him off. I'm already very fast. I think I'm going to outspeed the Rever Room or whoever is next. Rev... Rev... Rev room? I don't think it's Steel type. It has to be the type that it is, right? Oh my gosh. I don't know. It better not go... It's Navi Starmobile. Oh yeah, Zen Headbutt is super effective. Okay, watch. A plus two Zen Headbutt. Am I alive? <laughs> Come on, go! Yes, 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 yes. Okay, good. This is perfect. This is perfect. Hey! Toxic spikes? Oh my gosh. Yeah, you know what? We made it. Unless he gets a crit, I win. <laughs> okay, yeah, I win. Here we go. It's just gonna cost me, it's gonna cost me some Hyper Potions, but I'm good. And why aren't I getting Shell Bell damage back, right? Oh no, I don't have the Shell Bell, that's Cloth. Alright, so we're set, as long as I'm that plus two man. Dude, I've not been using X attack items. I've been sleeping on that concept, now I get poisoned. Okay, so here we go, this is, this might be the downfall. This might be the downfall here. 51? Okay, I gotta do this last hit, and then we win. Don't crit. Man, I'm so good. Oh my goodness. Yo, we are making do with what we got over here. You know what? We don't have the strongest team. But you know what our team has? Character. And no Terra Orb needed. Ooh. Wow. Forgive me, my friends. Yikes. About a year and a half ago. Oh, hello there. That's what you look like. Forgive me. It took a goodly time to procure the required materials. Whoa, sick. These boots are insane. Yeah, she's literally wearing boots that are up to her waist. Ah, uh, yes, the move Flame Charge was my muse for those particular pieces. This outfit is everything I imagined it would be. Thank you so much. I merely wish to create a costume worthy of the great Infernal Airy. If it aligns with your vision, then I am content. It seems our outfit upgrades are all wrapped up then. Thanks a ton, Atticus. With you two looking like absolute beasts, anyone who crosses us will be sweating bullets. You're so good at these sorts of crafty things, Atticus. Uh, those people bullying you because you geek out over old-fashioned stuff are out of their minds. The way of the ninja is rough and fraught with thorns. I never expected nor desire sympathy from uh, from the unrefined rabble. Oh, someone's getting fired up. Watch out, world. Our Atticus has fighting words. Yeah, don't listen to the haters, Atticus. I think you're really cool. All right, gang, let's move on to the next step. It's time to put our backs into battle training so we're prepped for Operation Star. We got to be stronger than everyone else in the team. That's what being a boss means. Indeed it does. Henceforth, I will devote myself, heart and soul, to honing my battle skills. Great. For the sake of the team, I would give my very heart and soul, but I cannot defy the rules. Our code must be obeyed. And so, this badge is mine to keep no more. I entrust it to thy care. 
All right, Pink Ninja, get owned. Yeah. Dun -dun 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 -dun. All right, take this contraption too. It contains a technique that allows one to cover their foes in gunk. Gunk shot. Good job. It's, uh, yeah, shoots filthy garbage. Kind of cool. All right, Abdallah is thy name, is it not? You have utterly bested me, but thy victory stirred no bitterness with me. Thanks, dude. Don Atticus, my compadre, it seems this little fella has been dying to speak to you face to face. Who's Yusuf? He took my Terra charge. Don Atticus, please, hear what I have to say. I only need a moment. Whatever brought you all the way over here? I came to help you. If you don't start going to class again, you'll be expelled from the academy, right? When the other kids at school and I were getting bullied real bad, you and the rest of Team Star saved us. Thanks to that operation you carried out, we were all able to go to school again. If you got expelled for being the good guys, that'd be the worst thing ever. Forgive me. Haven't you heard anything from the big boss? Nay, we heard not a whisper since that fateful day. Without the big boss, Team Star cannot carry on. And without the team, the bright and merry student life we seek lies beyond our reach. We have no choice but defend our bases till the big boss returns to us. You evidently trust this big boss of yours with a great, uh, a great deal. Who exactly are they? In truth, not one of us has met them in the flesh. By their own word, they are a recluse. As with the rest of us, twould, twould seem bullying was to blame. That's awful. Though their name and face be unknown to us, they are nonetheless our precious comrade. Uh, our only choice is to maintain our vigils from the bases, awaiting the day of their return. So that's why you don't go to school. But still, don't ever think that Team Star is all you have, Don Atticus. You've got a lifelong compadre in me! And don't you forget it, I'm Yusuf! My compadre, I owe you a great debt. Yusuf is so important, they don't even give him a name text box over here. <laughs> oh, man. Anyway, uh, but the bullying at the academy, but more importantly, I can't believe I had no idea about the issues that the students are struggling with. They have friendships that they hold dear and reasons for acting as they do. I just couldn't see it. It's shameful how oblivious I've been. Ah, uh, I believe Team Star to be the one and only treasure in my life. Methinks I may have been mistaken. Ta-da! Star Splash. Cool. So we got one more star badge. Uh, we got to go talk to Penny right now because she's going to be the one who delivers all the things for us. We got to check in with Cassiopeia. Get paid. Right? We got to get paid, man. Dude, Yusuf got owned. He's like, man. He completely handicapped me. Abdallah, it's me. Atticus's star badge is now yours then. I see. Now that its boss has been taken down, the Navi squad's days are numbered. Now Atticus, too. Sorry, I got a lot on my mind now. Uh, so Operation Starfall, you've taken down all but two bases, so it's fair to say it's going well. It seems like a good time to let you know what we're ultimately aiming to achieve. Our final goal is to defeat the mastermind that first recreated the five squad bosses and created Team Star, the one they call the Big Boss. Who is this Big Boss? Who knows, they control five squad bosses from the shadows. That's all anyone can say. If we defeat this person and get them to declare the team disbanded, that'll be it for Team Star. The, since the big boss never set up their own base and keeps their identity hidden, I take it they're not one for the spotlight. But once all the squad bosses are out of action, the big boss will finally have to take the stage. Now about your reward, I'll transfer some LP to your phone. Get paid, 10,000, 7,000? All right, cool, dude, we got a lot of league points. You can now make more TMs. Good. I mean, TMs aren't really going to help me. Uh, have your Pokemon learn strong moves so that they can continue to be of use to the operation. My supply unit rep should be with you soon. Yeah, like, since we're not going out there and, like, grinding materials, like, these TMs are useless. Hey there, Abdallah. Uh, that uh, sounded pretty, like a, like, a pretty serious phone call. You get her. Oh, I wasn't talking to you. Yeah, that's right. She doesn't like that. Ah, yeah, she doesn't like getting licked by a dragon. <laughs> that's a compliment. Not many people get licked by a Coridon. Am I right, Caroline? Welcome. All right, let's go. So that mastermind you were talking about, Cassiopeia's mentioned them to me too. The star's founder, the person who caused all kinds of misery at the academy. If we don't take them down, I'll lose what I treasure most in the world. Uh, yeah, you'll lose your treasure? What do you treasure? Uh, no, I just... Uh, that's right. You need your reward. Here. 
Take it before I forget. Materials. All right, well, I'll be off then. Oh, and Abdallah, don't lose those guys. She's weird. She's like trying to say something. Something's at the tip of her tongue, but she does not say it. Uh, okay, so uh, right now what we need to do is we need to head over to the nearest Pokemon Center and uh, I guess attempt to get up over here and like try to get up this mountain somehow. There's so many ways up here. I'm going to try to, yeah, we're going to try to go over. Uh, you know, I got some ways of getting over there. Uh, first things first, I guess we're going to go this way. No, uh, no, I'm going to go over here. Yeah, that's going to be good. No, 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 I'm going to go over here. <laughs> we're going to go back to Medali. Uh, we're going to heal up. And then our next goal, I swear we're going to get to this mountain. We got to do it one thing at a time, and it's going to be super great. So let's get healed up and go from there. You guys ready to jump this mountain and see exactly what's going on over there? We got to get our Crocolore evolved, right? He's our partner Pokemon since the very beginning. He's got to, like help us out. And we got to get Dugtrio out this team, man. Like, he did two attacks, and he wasn't there to terastalize. So, like, sorry, buddy. You're not making the cut. Anyway, uh, you guys are the best. We'll uh, we'll jump into this uh, next Ice Mountain. I think that's going to be perfect. So, anyway, we'll see you soon. Let's do it. You guys want to do it? I need to take a sip of coffee, man. Um, hey, welcome, Caroline. What's going on? Good to see you. Good to see you. 22 months. What's up? Happy memberversary. Oh yeah, baby. A big old sip of coffee on that, man. That is so awkward to drink out of. You have no idea. <laughs> Get this Doug Trio out of here. It was a good idea on paper, but execution did not work out as well as I wanted it to be. Okay, so the next team... Uh, let's take a look. We need, we're going to need some dark type moves. Uh, we got Bite. I have Snarl and bite and assurance you know what i think we're ready to go i think we're actually ready to go yeah we are okay okay yeah yeah you know what let's do it let's do it man let's have some fun let's have some fun use a straw drinking coffee out of a straw what are you crazy well i guess if it's iced coffee that's cool let me drink my hot coffee from a straw ah <laughs> it's a trap <laughs> All right, you guys ready? We're going to continue even more Pokemon Scarlet. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go, I'm ready to go. We need to get to this Ice Mountain. If on the way there, we can level up our Crocolore a little bit, go for it. That would be wonderful. I would be very thankful for that. Uh, as you can see over here, this is gonna be our perfect way forward. Absolutely it is. There was a Ditto in the area back there. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have time. Like, every single one of these little episodes here, all of these little blocks that we're doing, it's been really streamlined. We're not going out and grinding any of our Pokemon. We're finding some replacements for them. And it's uh, it's been a pretty good time. So, I'm thinking this is not the way we go, but we're going to go the opposite way uh, to the mountain path. Here we go. Yeah! It's a Titan, man. This is the way I want to go right here. I don't have Fly. So we're going to do our best. But you know what's actually really fun? I think what's really fun is we're playing Pokemon in a very different way. Right? A lot of you guys will, like, grind out your Pokemon and get them really, really strong and all of that stuff. But the way that we're playing is exactly the opposite. We're just really using our Pokemon and they're just naturally getting stronger. We're not spending any time grinding out. That deerling would have destroyed me. <laughs> oh my, it's going to destroy me. Because it's so much faster. Like, get out of here. Yeah, so uh, it, it's actually a really fun and refreshing way of playing the game. And I hope that you guys are getting a kick out of it too. Because it's making me think outside the box with all these different strategies and movesets and item usage and all that crazy stuff. Alright, so right over here I'm at a crossroads with a Vaporeon. Oh my gosh, that's my favorite Pokemon right there. That right there is it. Um, but, uh, I mean, I don't know. Unless you guys know where a wild Terra-type Vaporeon is. I'm holding out. It's probably in the water and it's probably like level 50. So, we're going to hold out. 
Yeah, I mean, like, I've beaten the game before. Two times over, which was super easy. Um, but now it's just like we're playing it a different way! Oh my god! Oh goodness, goodness. Okay, okay, like and rock. Let's go. Okay, yeah, here we go. Okay, so a couple things that we need to do over here. This is... Wow, this is gonna be fun. Crocolore, you ready? So low-key, I am going to... Try to knock out all of these guys here. Just chilling out. We're gonna watch Crocolore do all the work. 200 experience apiece. He really only needs like three more levels, so... As we're kind of exploring over this way, I will allow him to just really rain terror. It appears that every single one of the... Uh, maybe these little Satatles? These Satatles are giving like 600 experience? Is that right? I don't know, man. I'm, I'm losing my, my UI is not really consistent here. Yo, he just leveled up once just by beating up those Pokemon. So that's great. And then we also have uh, gigantic Satatles here. These guys are four times weak against fire. Yeah, so it's about 200 apiece. We got Snovers over here. We can absolutely hang out in Avalog right over this way. That thing is huge. I hope that gives me like 700 experience just from knocking it out. This is fun. How much was that? It was about 500. Not bad. Yeah, yeah. So the only the only grinding I have to do is the 36. And we're just only going to do uh, a light grinding on the way up. That's it. Oh, look, it's a deli bird. Yo, Merry Christmas. Hi, man. Dunk. Deerling. Winter deerling. Getting owned. How much? 480. I'm already at 35. So, I don't know... Yeah, yeah, we don't evolve if we are playing the auto battle mode of Let's Go. So, I have to be very mindful, and I kind of want to go beat up that Obama Snow. So, let's go try it. Obama Snow is four times weak against fire. So, if I can get one hit in... And I'll Terrastalize, I don't even care. This is going to be big damage. Provided he doesn't outspeed and destroy me. So, Obama Snow, four times weak against Fire because he's a Grass type and he's an Ice type. Both of those typings are weak. Um, so let's do the calculation. He's four times weak. Um, I'm also Terrastalizing with the same type attack bonus. <laughs> I don't know. Times eight? Is that math right? Does that math sound right? Dude, I don't know, man. Don't hit yourself. I need this. Don't hit yourself. Oh, he hit himself. Dang it. Every time he takes a step, you can tell. So, do I lose? Whoa, what happened? No! Oh, help me. Help me. What just happened there, man? Um, I have a revive over here, so we're just going to revive. I'm going to super bosh him. <laughs> he hit himself. He was ready to go. I'm going to try one more time. I don't have my Terra Orb, so... Eh, that's all right. Don't swagger. Icy Wind, perfect. I think I have to do a two-hit KO. As long as he doesn't do, like, Wood Hammer or some, like, crazy Avalanche. Wow, one-hit KO, level 40. Come on, man, this has got to be, like, 2,000 experience. 1597, keep going, keep going, keep going. Close. Not enough. We need a little bit more, and then we got this, man. Let's make it, let's make our way, oh, Bronzong. Ooh, I don't want to. No, 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 not yet, not yet. Let's make our way up to the top. Here's the Pokemon Center. I was two steps away from it, so I could have saved myself a revive. Oh, yeah, baby. All right, how much health did I take? Oh, dude, I'm set. Watch this Obama Snow. All right, here we go. This is another 1,400 experience off of this big boy. Uh, he is a level, probably like a level 40. It's going to be huge experience for us, which is exactly what we need. Icy Wind is not going to do any damage. Four times super effective. Um, so that's that should be times eight. 
Oh my gosh, wow, look at this strong guy. And here comes a swagger again. This one's going to really throw me for a loop. I think confusion is like 50% hitting yourself, so just try not to, please. You're right outside the Pokemon Center. We, we all saw what happened last time. Come on, man. Come on, Crocolore. You're so good. There we go. Okay, are you guys ready? Let's see some fire at home. I want to see nothing but flames right now, so let's go. I know you guys are excited for this. Are you actually ready? Are you ready? Brah! Look at that. Crocolore evolved into Skeledurge. Whoa. Look at that. An alligator Pokemon. Cool. Or maybe like a crocodile? A singer Pokemon. I'm sorry. I got that way wrong. That does not look like an alligator or, an, or a crocodile. That is absolutely a singer. The fiery bird changes shape when Skeledurge sings. Rumor has it that the bird was born when the fireball in Skeledurge's head gained a soul. It's a fire ghost type. Cool, huh? All right, let's see this special move. Yeah, it's called Torch Song. Oh, man, Torch Song is good. Yeah, yeah, finally. So Torch Song, every time you use it, you're going to boost your special attack by one stage. So that's going to snowball all the way through, man. He is going to dominate. So now that we have Skeledurge on our team, uh, it's time. It's time to do some work. Let's, uh, let's heal our Pokemon and go from there. The only thing I need right now is Shadow Ball. So I know it naturally learns it. Maybe it's part of its remembered moveset. I'm going to go take a look right now. Because typically when Pokemon evolve, you want to take a look at their um, their remembered moves. So yeah, take a look at their remembered moves and go from there. Take a look. Uh, check Summary. Go over here. Uh, go to Remember Moves. Shadow Ball, please. Bite, Flamethrower, Lick, Ember. Dude, come on, I need a Ghost Move, man. Like an actual good ghost move. Uh, ooh, Snarl's okay. Round is not going to do any work for us, but Shadow Ball would have been really, really cool. Um, special attack is good. I mean, man, I'm, I got a really suboptimal nature here. That's okay. Torch Song is great. Okay, that means that we are ready. We're ready. You guys ready to go get a gym badge? Let's go find out where... Ex oh, Frigibax. I want him. I don't know where he is, though. That, that's not a real destination. Um, so what we need to do right now, that is a... Ooh, that is a little baby dragon Pokemon. Uh, he's one of the new dragon Pokemon in the game, and I'm hoping we can get lucky enough to find him in the wild. If not, not a big deal. Don't really care too much. We'll get him eventually, but he's a cutie. He's a real cutie, and I hope we can somehow get him. So keep your eyes open. If you see anything like that, uh, like a little baby, like a little baby dragon. Oh, there's, whoa, okay, here we go. You guys remember him, right? Hey, you remember him? If it isn't, uh, what's his name? Grievard, that's right, Grievard. We had a, a fun Grievard reveal trailer when Pokemon was doing reveal trailers. That was really fun. And if you didn't notice, you may have seen his evolution just walking around right next to me. So... Anyway, we're going to keep on making our way up this mountain over here. I have to find out what path is going to be the best path for us. Because remember, we don't have climb. We don't have climb, so we have to go on the natural uh, inclines right over here. Oof! I love Sneasel. I want a pink Sneasel, though. Can I have a pink one? Grievard, man. Grievard is kind of scary. It, like, saps your energy completely off of you. Okay, that's what's digging out of the ground over there. It's like the little Grievard. Here's a Satitan. Oh, dang, a bear tick. Cool. Wow. Oh, yeah, we're going. Oh, here we go. The perfect incline upwards. Watch out for the Grievard. Don't need them. Watch out for the Sneasel. I will jump over them. Oh, Avalug. Cool. 
Yeah, always doing the work. Just take a little bit more experience. Why not? 600? I'll take it. Okay, so we made it to the town. Yeah! Reprieve! Montanavera. Okay, so we made it to Montanavera. Pretty awesome. I'm excited for this. Uh, if we take a look at Montanavera, let's zoom in over here. We'll show you guys the... What's Vaporeon doing up here? Where is their water? Dude, Vaporeon wants to be caught. It, he's going to be on my team. I promise you. Um, anyway, so Montanavera is here. The only thing that you can shop is Chansey Supply. So let's head on over to Chansey Supply, uh, which is right over this way, and see if we can buy some supplies. I need some X attack, X special attack, and all that stuff. Like... <laughs> Love to buy. Uh, oh, here we go. X attack. I'll buy like five of those. <laughs> I'll buy 35 of them. All right, give me some of those. Because these are really good. I really underestimate how good these are. Please remember to follow the recommended dosage. What? <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, energy powder, energy root, revival herb. Uh, we got the proteins. These are the EV training items if you want them. They're pretty good. I mean, it's a great way of EV training all your Pokemon if you got the money for it. Uh, but anyway, uh, so right now we're we're ready to go. Let's go do this. Vaporeon is on the map. I really want to, but we have work to do. So um, our team is going to be Doc's Bun and Skeledurge. Doc's Bun has Bite, which is actually really good. Um, I might do I might do Tauros. Yeah, I might do Tauros with us, because Tauros has really good attack. So I'm going to change his position to right over here. And I don't think I have any ghost boosting items. I haven't really bought any. Looking at other items really quick. I don't think I have any. Moonstone. Oh, Black Glasses is going to be really good. Yeah, I'll give that to... I'll give that to Tauros. Oh, I'm so sorry. I don't want to use it. I'm trying to give to Tauros. Because he's going to be using the dark moves in this next upcoming battle. So, um, what is the best way of giving an item? Okay, so you go over here, you click this, um, change held item. Here we go. Perfect, perfect. Yeah, so, yeah, going over and buying all these, like, little boosting items is, I don't know, kind of min-maxing your damage output. So you might as well. Okay, wearing black glasses, super fun. I am into it, and now we are ready to go. Yeah, man. You guys ready? Yo, what's up, Jacques? Hello, hello, Abdallah. Uh, how goes your treasure hunt? Figured out uh, what you're hunting for yet? Yeah, I'm hunting for Vaporeon soon. That's great. Look at you, knowing exactly what you're after. Many students choose to make the gym circuit a part of their treasure hunt. It's no easy feat, but even making the attempt is a worthwhile experience. That's why I was waiting here, to make sure you know your homeroom teacher's got your back. A lucky egg? Oh man, that's great. Okay, so this is where you get the lucky egg in the game. This one doubles your experience points gained if you have that Pokemon holding it. I hope you keep on working on that Pokedex of yours too, since I did make the app and all. And that's all for me. Just do your best and keep out of danger, alright? So that's going to be really good. Getting the lucky egg right over here. Perfect. Right by Jacques uh, on the, what, fifth badge? Okay, a lucky egg. Um, I guess I'll give that to you, Satitan. Whatever. I'm not going to give it to my active attackers on my team. Because if I give it to an active attacker on my team, they're going to not be as strong. So, like, dude, we need to make sure that we don't lose either. Oh, and I also have Never Melt Ice. That's actually really good. I'm going to give that to him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to give lucky egg to my, my little dog. Actually, Muscle Band's really good for my dog now. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, no, I got this, I got this. I don't know if anyone needs the Lucky Egg, to be honest. I'm, I mean, I'm really all about just making sure that we are... We're strong, because I don't want to lose. And we haven't lost yet. <laughs> we haven't lost yet, guys. And I don't know how that's possible without grinding at all. So I'm going to get a muscle band. I mean, you know, we're just going to hold on to it. Lucky egg, put it in our pocket. Keep it warm. Maybe it'll hatch. Uh, welcome to the Montanavera gym. <clears throat> Yo, you got some dreepy over there. Let me register you as a challenger. Your name's Abdallah, yes? 
Great, now in order to face the gym leader, Rhyme, you'll first need to pass the gym test. Here at the Montanavera gym, that means uh, warming up the audience for the main event. That's right, you're the opening act. Your job is to get up on stage, show us some dead fierce battles, and get the crowd excited before the gym leader's concert begins. Uh, MC Sledge is over there on the outside of the stage. You can start the gym test by talking to him. Now get out there and have fun. MC Sledge. Let's go find him. All right, MC Sledge, baby. Hello, yo, trainer. Uh, you the one performing the opening act today? My name's MC Sledge. This is the stage right here. So here's the deal. We're going to have you do some double battles. That's where you have two Pokemon fight on each side. That'll let you sledge up double the opponents and get the audience twice as excited. The venue will be so hot, it'll melt the Montanavera snow. Once you get the audience worked up and ready to go, that'll be your cue for our leader to take the stage. That's how you pass the gym test, yo. Your opening act begins soon. Uh, begins as soon as you get up on the stage. There's no backing down until you win three times in a row, so make sure that you're ready. You go down the deets for the opening act of our gym test. Ready to sledge them up? Yeah, dude, let's go. How come I can't put that kind of facial hair on my main character? <laughs> Is it because my main character is like 10? I thought I can customize him. He's just, he looks really young for his age. Anyway. Alright, here we go. Get ready. What's up, Montanavera? Today's opening act will be three back-to-back -back double battles by our challenger here, Abdallah. And the first of their three opponents will be a young performer who makes it looks like a breeze. Oh, what's up, kid? Yo, a t-shirt and shorts in this winter cold? The one and only Taz. Double battles. That means one plus one, right? Can you do that math? Listen, kid. Okay, let's go, Taz. Shup it and Grievered. How many Pokemon do they have? They only have just these two. Okay, that's cool. Uh, let's do a little bit of Snarl. Snarl hits both opponents, luckily. Uh, and Assurance will uh, attack anyone. Doesn't matter. Probably Shup it. Really? One HP? Cool. Skeledurge is just going to take care of that. There we go. <laughs> so Grievard somehow dodged that. Not a big fan. Grievard using Dig over here. What? Why would you do that? That's mean. Wow, this battle's amazing. I'm going to call my friends to come cheer you on. Skeledurge's attack rose. Okay, so... Dig is probably going to be aiming towards my... Um, what's his name? Skeledurge. So I'm going to switch out Skeledurge so he doesn't have to take an unnecessary hit. That's super effective. <laughs> and we're just going to give it to Satitan because Satitan's just so bulky. And then I've got Assurance over here. I've got... It's not same type attack bonus. Okay, so that's... We predicted that hit from happening. So now we're going to do a... We're going to do an Ice Shard. We're, just gonna, we're also going to do an Assurance. Wow, man. I should have aimed for Grievered first. Because I know that Shuppet wasn't going to go digging around in the dirt. Okay, so that was good. Way to go, Tass. Tool assisted speed run. Uh, 1 plus 1 is 2, right? Right? Yo, that's a rich kid if he gave me 5,600 bucks. Cool, thanks, man. Thanks, kiddo. The audience is cheering got a little louder. Uh, the Montanavera stage has all the latest tech. The more excited the audience gets, the more the stage will light up. Keep on sledging. You got this. And our next challenger, or our challenger's next opponent will be a musician with a bit of a unique style. It's Lonnie. Yeehaw! <laughs> Strong compliments weak. 
The harmony of two Pokemon battling in unison. Yoshi. <laughs> what was he doing? Alright, Lonnie, let's see it. Haunter and Miss Drevis. Level 40s over here is pretty tough. But my assurance should knock out these guys. Haunter going first with the Hex. That's super effective against me. And that's kind of hurtful. Mischievous with the Psy Beam. This isn't as easy as I wanted it to be. Assurance did that much damage? Wow, that didn't do anything. Uh-oh. Did we lose? Snarl's garbage. I don't I need Shadow Ball. Whoa, we barely held on. This is some white knuckle battling. Okay, thank you for the speed boost. Needed that. Uh let me see my health right now. We're both at 39 HP. So we have to snarl. And I also have to use assurance on Haunter. Because Haunter's the fastest on the on the opposing side, so I gotta make sure that I'm attacking the fastest guy so I don't take a hit. Yeah, big snarl, thank you. So if the audience didn't cheer for me and give me that plus speed boost, we would have gotten owned by those two faster opponents. And I was not expecting a Psy Beam, let alone. Good job. That wasn't harmony. That was uh, a cacophony. Wow. Do I know that word? Yeah, I think I do. It's like the opposite of a harmony. Alright, anyway. <laughs> Go me. No way. The audience is really getting excited. Your opening act turned uh, <laughs> the cheering and the stage up to 11. Whoa, the stage lighting up to 11. What a surprise from our new challenger. Who would have thought they'd sledge it up this much? Your next is your last opponent. It's none other than me, MC Sledge. Okay. Nice eyebrows, dude. Uh, being an MC isn't my only fort. I can battle too. I'll sledge you up real good in a double battle. Do I get healed in between each of these? I better. Alright, MC Sledge. Sableye and Driftblim. Sableye, the only weakness being fairy type moves. Driftblim. Oh gosh. This isn't going to be a lot of damage. I think we're both going to have to aim for Drift Blim. Self-destruct? Well, it doesn't affect my croc, but that's half of my health on Tauros. Wow. Shadow Claw. Crit Shadow Claw. With the Anger Point proc? No way. Oh my, I've never, that is so situational. That move was really great. I cannot believe that right now. It's gonna say like Tauros's attack is maxed out. It can't go any higher. Wow. Okay, so Tauros's ability is called Anger Point. If anyone hits him with a critical hit, his attack stat goes all the way to plus six, which is tremendous. That's like me giving him three X attacks or him using six workups. I've never seen that. Uh, so that was actually really cool. Thanks, MC Sledge. I loved seeing that. Spending three turns on giving him X attacks at the equivalent. I cannot believe that. Anyway, we got some little snobs in the audience over here. Can you guys see any other Pokemon? You guys recognize anything? Oh, awesome. That was a great battle. How lucky. That was a rare sight. Can anyone name all the Pokemon in the audience over here? Thank you, Abdallah. Congratulations. You passed the gym test. Give him a round of applause, everybody. Yay. I feel a scary good presence of unity with, uh, in the crowd. Perfecto. We're ready to go to the main event. Come on, everybody, say it with me. This is what you've all been waiting for. Give it up for the MC of R.I.P. Rhyme.
Let's go, rhyme. Rhyme, 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 rhyme. Yeah. What's all this noise I'm hearing? This crowd's so loud, it could wake the dead. Let me tell you what I want to hear. Y'all feeling good? <laughs> yeah, we're feeling good. Rhyme, 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 rhyme. Everyone say it with me now at home. Rhyme. Thanks for the killer opener, baby. Now I'll get started for real. Oh, you getting this started for real, girl? All right. Congrats on the gym test. That was sick, yo. Thanks. Give us a minute for some rhyme time, you feel me? Go ahead and tell the lobby staffer that you passed. Rhyme, rhyme, rhyme. How's my team? Oh, gosh. Dun -na -na -na, dun -dun -na. I want to hear my theme song. All right, we're going to heal up, and then we're going to go say hi to Rhyme, man. You guys ready? You guys ready to rhyme? All right, I'm ready. Rhyme, rhyme, rhyme. It's so funny because rhyme is... Is rhyme going to be, like, performing? And what is rhyme going to perform? Yep, that's right. Slide down. Here we go. Okay, rhyme. It's rhyme time. All right, let's go tell the gym staffer that we passed the test, and then we're going to go battle rhyme. It's going to be a good time. All right, amazing job. You're fantastic. Uh, the gym test is cleared. Well done. Now you've earned the right to challenge the gym leader. Best of luck. Are you ready to challenge gym leader rhyme, the MC of RIP? Yeah, I am. The master of ceremony of rest in peace acronyms man yo yo it sounds like there might be a rap battle going on over at the stage a rap battle oh you ready for this i don't think you can handle these bars here man what is this this is my time and this is my day you're not gonna stand in my way <laughs> <laughs> Good job, kid. Listen up, Rhyme. Your reign ends here. You're gonna get rung up by this pro cashier. <laughs> Yo, that pro cashier. Oh, dang, kid. Yo, he's got he's got some bars over here. What's he doing? Pro cashier. Well, I'm about to check out. Must have got your rhymes on deep discount. <laughs> oh, get him, please. You think you can step up to my game, fool? I got rhyme right here in my name. I'm a specter from which there's no protector, and victory unto me you will render when the crowd sees you're a mere pretender. <laughs> you want to end my reign? Yeah, keep dreaming. Buy a book of rhymes, kid, and start reading. <laughs> That's kind of weak. You can't rhyme dreaming and reading, but all right, all right, you take it, take it, take it. I'm done, you won. My rhyme's totally whiffed, but I'll be back maybe after my next shift. <laughs> Hold up, where are you going? That's all you got? After my next shift, seriously? Bars over jokes? Come on. This guy. Uh, that was over way too fast. It gets boring wearing the crown if no one makes me fight to keep it. Huh? Hey, my opener's back. You here for a rap battle or a gym battle? Yo, get ready for a rap battle, lady. Ha, huh, you got jokes. We both know why you're really here. <laughs> you were captivated by the show I put on, huh? I rap what's in my soul, baby, weaving words into a symphony of poetry. Don't try it with me, you won't last one round. I'm like Sableye, my mean look will lock you down. Like that? You feel me? I do not feel you. Ha, huh, well, let's get to it. You're a Pokemon trainer, so battle me and show you who you are. <laughs> my music's not all that tops the charts. Uh, my skills with ghost types are the best around. You feel me? Yes or no? <laughs> I proceed to not feel you. Uh, lest you forget it, the name's Rhyme, and I'm known as the MC of R.I.P. Dead or alive, let's make this a vibe. Baby. <laughs> let's go, Rhyme. Get owned. Hmm. Okay. We got some work to do. We don't mess around in Montanavera. On my stage, we double battle. Don't let us scare ya. 
<laughs> oh, I love that, man. All right, so we're going to go down, 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 down. We're going to go Torch Song on. I have to go Torch Song. Do I have to? I could go Snarl. If I go Torch Song, I could do some work and get a, a boost. I'm trying to think of how I'm going to play this out. We could double on Banat. Although, Shadow Sneak on Mimikyu is going to be pretty annoying. So, let's just double on Banette. I'm going to go Assurance on Banette. And then we'll proceed to Snarl. So, an awesome battle, Rhyme. And you too, student kid. What's going to hit us? Alright, I'm going to go Terra Typing with the Fire Song. Which will boost my special attack by one stage. That means my Snarl, when it hits both of them on the other side, will be plus one. Should be a lot stronger. Mimikyu has the ability to disguise. Okay, that wasn't too strong. Good. Mimikyu using Slash. Good, good, good. There's the Assurance. Here's the Terra type Torch Song. I don't have Shadow Ball. So this is unfortunate. This is the best I've got. Very strong. Like that. So now my special attack is up. Beautiful. Okay, good. Tell me you're learning Shadow Ball. Yes, thank you. Skeletor is learning Shadow Ball just at the right time. Absolutely. Thank you very much. Woo, boy. Get rid of round. Thank you very much. I may need to keep Snarl because it hits two opponents. So I learned Shadow Ball literally in battle. And how... Good is that. Cloth with Sword Stance? Yeah, why not? Cloth's good, dude. Get out of here, Rock Throw. Na 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 na. I just want to hear that song. It's my favorite bop in this entire thing. Doc Spun wants to learn Roar? No. Alright, get ready. Houndstone. Who's Houndstone? None other, than, none other than this thing. Awesome, that was perfect timing to Terrastalize. Thanks. Skeledurge's attack and defense rose. Oh, so they were cheering for me. Okay, so we have really big attack boosts here. I don't know. I, I don't know why we got those boosts, but... I'm not going to complain. It's going to make the battle a little easier, I think. Okay, so I have to somehow break that disguise off of Mimikyu. And by doing the Snarl, I believe I can achieve hitting both of them really hard. And breaking the disguise in one turn. Taro's Assurance. Boom! Big hit. Half health. Gone. Mimikyu Slash. Wait. Am I not a ghost type? No, I'm a fire type. I'm a fire type because I'm ter terrestrialized. Yeah, so I lose the... I lose that I'm weak against ghost type moves. That's great! Houndstone. Phantom Force. I don't want to eat that hit, and I don't know who he's aiming for with that. He just disappears for one turn, and then he, boom, hits. Kind of like Dig. Uh, yeah, that's not so good. I don't know where's my uh, attack stat, or my HP stat, so we're going to have to look and see. If I can take one of those... We have a lot of boosts right now. If you take a look at us... I literally have plus three attack right now. There's no way anyone's going to survive this nonsense. So, let's do this. We're gonna go... I'm gonna go Snarl. My health is pretty good. I can take a hit. And we're gonna go Battle. I'm gonna do Assurance. We're gonna double on Mimikyu. Yeah, it's not doing w enough. So this is an easy battle. Houndstone avoided it, and then now... Houndstone is gonna come over here and use the Phantom Force on me. It's not super effective, so it's not gonna KO. He's holding out against Rhyme's offensive. Come on, you can do it. I know, we're working on it. I just need one more good hit. A solid hit. I gotta get this dog out of here. Okay, so now our speed is... You know what? This is kind of like... It's it's a little too easy. Uh, as you can see over here, like the crowd is literally boosting me up. So much. That it almost seems unfair. But Tauros is my right-hand man over here. He's doing the work. He wants to learn Raging Bull? I'm sorry. What is that move? 
Normal type. User performs a tackle like a Raging Bull. This move depends on the user's form. It can also break barriers such as light screen and reflect. How cool is that? I like work up. I like all of these moves, actually. Except for double kick, man. Raging Bull's cool! Wait, it says what? Uh, this move's type depends on the user's form. I mean, sure, I, I guess it's gonna be a fighting type? Because I'm in a, a fighting form? I don't know, man. Looks cool. Love it. Okay, here we go. How many Pokemon are left? The Your youthful power is a real threat, but the party's still going. I haven't lost yet. Toxicity. Alright, you guys ready? One of Rhyme's Pokemon went down. Woo, this is so exciting. Wow. This is very fascinating. We are getting all these buffs right now of our attacks. Oh man, that's crazy. Um, I'm going to go Shadow Ball on Toxicity. We're also going to go Assurance on Toxicity as well. Since our speed is like... Anyway, kick back, relax, and enjoy the last track. Uh, turn it up for a grave rattling good time. <gasps> a grave rattling good time. You mean to tell me Houndstones were there in the audience the entire time and we just didn't notice? And look who's here making his debut. When I'm on the mic, even the dead rise up. DJ G Rave over there is sure feeling it. Yo, DJ G Rave, man. Look at that cutie. All right. She's got the Toxitricity, which changes its typing to Ghost. And then we get to hear the epic theme song. Shadow Ball. Easiest battle. Wow. I only got to hear that tune for like two seconds, man. So Skeledurge was doing a lot of work. Went from like literally level 36 to 39 right now. So thank goodness. Giving up the ghosts. Not really my style. I'll let you have this one though, baby. Ha, huh, great battle and chilling and thrilling. Oh, good. You got the spirit, kid. You earned my gym badge all right. And how about a VIP pass for my next show too? Oh, yeah, I'm in the audience, man. Look. Yo, where's DJ G-Rave at? Hold on, hold on. I want a picture with that little guy. With six gym badges, it'll be easier to catch Pokemon up to level 50, and they'll listen to you, uh, what you have to say, too. I'm feeling so good that I think I'm going to let you have this. Shadow Ball TM. Great. Love that. All right, we need it. Too bad it's over. Make your way back to my stage sometime. Maybe next time we rap battle instead. Who knows? I'm sure you got some scary good adventures ahead. I'll be cheering for you. Later. I think that was fun. Honestly, um, Rhyme is one of the better gym leaders. Outside of Larry, man. Larry was too hilarious. Uh, hey, Snape. Uh, greetings once more, Abdullah. I was watching your battle with the gym leader from the sidelines, and I must say, I thought it was simply excellent. Full marks, gold star, extra credit, even. Uh, hardly had you sent out Skeledurge before you launched into your strategy. That unrelenting offensive, that flurry of attacks, what an efficient way to corner the opponent. And what artfully trained Pokemon. Such a vibrant palette of moves. Uh, I do beg your pardon. I didn't mean to let my emotions run amok like that. In summer, I simply wanted to say that you seem to have gotten stronger. I must admit, I'm eager for you to gather all the gym badges. As a member of the Elite Four, I await the day. Uh, you come and face me with great anticipation. Oh, but one thing. Don't let your studies fall by the wayside. Be sure to come to the Academy now and then. <laughs> nah, man. I'm testing out all those classes. Okay, that was great. Uh, is it spin around in a circle worthy? Yeah, maybe not so many RPM. Maybe that's enough. That was really great. Um, yeah, awesome time going through battling the ghost trainer. Now, since Skella Dirge is fully evolved and we got ourselves a very awesome move, what we need to do now is we need to beat the ice gym leader with our burning flames here. I can't wait for that. So let's go knock it out. What do you say? Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Take a drink. Hello to everyone who's watching at home. Come out and say hi. Mmm.
Snorlax keeps my coffee nice and warm. Excellent. Thanks for hanging out, guys. Hi. How's your evening going? You guys want to go do another gym battle? Man, we got to go get healed, dude. We got to go get healed. Uh-oh. There might be someone out here. I should have stayed in the building. All right, we're good. <laughs> oh, man. Snorlax mug. Oh, oh. Is there anything there? Oh, oh, whoa. Oh, there we go. Cool. Skeledurge King K rule. Yeah, that kind of that kind of feels like that a little bit. Good to see you guys. Thanks for thanks so much for coming. Uh, Gabriel Azure, hello, hello. What's up, Melissa? What's up, Eric? Um, all of you guys, drunken Aiden, Mike, Guy, Carl. Mm, what's new? How's your evening going? You guys uh, having some fun times here? I hope you guys are. The game's really fun, man. And I love the fact that we're uh, we're playing it again, and just really having a great time. So. Thanks for being here. If you didn't already take a look, uh, we've got tons of tips and tricks tutorials happening on the channel, and I would love it if you would jump over here and help me out with supporting some of them, uh, especially the one that I just recently put out, which is over here uh, called the Shiny Guide. Yeah, go take a look at that. I spent all day working on it, so I'd really appreciate anything that you can put towards it. Watch it in the background, play it on loop, share it on wherever website you want to. That would be very much appreciated. Um, other than that, we got uh, tons more happening. I can't wait to show you, so let's keep on going with it, shall we? All right, it's chilly, it's chilly. Let's do it, let's do it. All right, you ready? Oh man, we gotta go get this ice gym leader. We have to, right now. I'm ready. It's a little cold out here, but we're gonna go get this ice gym leader. So I'm excited for it. Thanks so much for hanging out and enjoying all of Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. We are doing a lot of work here. So let's continue on and see what we can do. Skeledurge is going to be doing a lot of work for us in this next battle here. I'm really hoping that all we have to do is just Terrastalize and then press A to win. Those are the battles that I need right now. I've worked my way up, man. Kinda done with that. Anyway. Let's go. Our Terra Orb is charged up. We're going to walk out of here. I wish there was a Vaporeon that I can go get, but according to this, I mean, I don't really see any water, so we're just going to really just walk over here uh, and then go to this Glaciado Gym. Uh, I'll do a little bit of walking around towards the south here, right? I'll walk a little bit towards the south. Or to the north? Yeah. If a Vaporeon's around here, I'll go. I'll go find him. But I don't think that's the case. Leech Life. Ooh, Leech Life is such a good move for Bug-type Pokemon. Oh, let's talk about that. So I'll go inside the water. <clears throat> it's inevitable that a Vaporeon would be near the water and by this waterfall, right? Should I actually fall, though? No, 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 no. That's, that's against where I need to go. And I don't have the ability to climb, so no, not yet. Oh, gosh. Belly Bulb Baby. No, we don't need Belly Bulb Baby. Level 35 would be stronger than half my team right now. Deli Bird. He is a Deli Bird. He is a Deli Bird. Okay, moving on. Ooh, a free Ice Stone? Thanks. Alright, we don't need any of these Pokemon here. A snowball. Oh, that's kind of fun. Don't fall. There's a belly bolt. Ah, <laughs> we were talking about belly bolt. Oh, it's funny. Okay, moving on. I need to go up the mountain? Kind of, sort of? Okay, hold on. Hey, hey, easy, easy. There's a bunch of deli birds over there. We need to make our way all the way through this tundra. Finding some timer balls in the ground. Snow run. Ooh, there's a Terra Den. Super Potion, Polka Doll. Who's in here? Spoink? No thanks. Definitely don't need Spoink. Oh yeah, we are going on the right path. This is looking good. Cryogonal shows up. And here we are. We made it that fast, huh? Snowscape. Yeah. Okay. So we're here. Uh, none of our Pokemon need a rest. We are all set and ready to go. Uh, Skeledurge is going to do the work. He's got charcoal. And provided I just survive the hits, right? 
The only thing that he's got going wrong for him is the concept of him not being able to outspeed. So, I don't think I have an X speed. That would be kind of good. To have an X speed and then sweep through the team. That would be actually really good. Hey, I heard the good news. Congrats on gym badge number six. Not even a tenth of the trainers who take on the gyms get this far, you know. But I'm not surprised that you made it. I just knew there was a reason you caught my eye. Thanks. Oh, please. I should be the one thanking you. Anyway, I bet you could use a little warming up before you take on the gym, huh? Come on, you know the drill by now. Okay, uh, no, let me choose my Pokemon. You're going to lead with Lycanroc. I'm going to get rocked. Oh, great. Okay, okay, we got some work to do. Tata-chan, tata-chan. Uh, here's our battle court for today. Uh, right, always important to check what environment your Pokemon will be battling in. The battlefield can have these teeny effects on your Pokemon's balance and stuff, you know? Anyway, I sort of dragged you uh, here, but a little pre-gym warming up should do you good. Now, come on, Abdal, let's have a fruitful battle. All right, Nimona, the last time we fought, I almost lost. That cat. Meowscarada? You can't beat that cat. I don't know how I'm going to do it. Show me the battle skills uh, that got you six badges. Level 42? No thanks. I'm very low level. Um, it's going to use a rock move, right? Why is, why is Raging Bull not very effective? I thought it changes the type. I'm going to find out right now, apparently. Sand attack. That's rude. Yeah, Raging Bull is super effective. That's right. Two sand attacks? You can't... Dude, evasion claws. Miss. Great. Cool. What are you gonna do now? Rock slide. I'm gonna miss all of my moves. That was cool. Uh, that's stung, but you're not the only one who can hit hard when it counts. Can I get a switch in? On a rock-type move? I mean, I can. But he's probably got a ground-type move. This is not going to be smart. But I also don't want to stand in here with a minus two accuracy. So Palmo's going to have to come out and do some work. <laughs> oh, man. Let's do it. Tatachan. Palmo took those hits like a champ. Good job, kiddo. Sliggoo, guess what? Watch this, Sliggoo. That's Gumi's evolution right over here. And we got a new teammate in the form of Satitan. So get owned. With an avalanche. Dragon Pulse? Okay. I'm so bulky, it's not gonna hurt at all. Avalanche. Gonzo. That's the only thing I have against Dragon types right now, is Ice. Way to go, Satitan. Uh, you're bringing Paw Mott. Oh, come on, man. I wish I had Paw Mott. Um, he's gonna do a fighting type attack, so I'm gonna go over here with uh, Skeledurge. Do a Torch Song. Or I can bring play rough, and I could I could play rough a little bit. Yeah, you know what? Let let's play let's play rough. Let's play rough. Here's Palmot. Wow, man, look at that! You must really love that Pokemon to walk around with it, huh? I tried walking around with my Palmo. Good dog. Spark hurts. We're gonna get rocked. 
And I got paralyzed. Man, okay. I get it. Spark again. I'm done. I lose. Two paralysis in a row? No way, man. I gotta let the dog go. I don't have someone that's gonna take an electric attack really easily. Aside from you. But then you're not gonna do it. Dog's gotta go. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, doggo. You had two shots at getting it. You had two shots. But then he got fully paralyzed both times. Alright, I just need to not get paralyzed. So... Come on, Cloth! Or we do this. No, no, no. Yeah, we're gonna do this. We're gonna... We're, we got this. We got this. Come here. I guess we're gonna go Raging Bull. I like Raging Bull 100% accuracy. That's such a good move. I'll take that. Palmo's base attack stat is very strong. So, like, don't underestimate Palmo and Palmot. They're good. There you go. Meowskarada. I'm ready. Yeah, yeah. Let's get this rematch over here. You almost destroyed my entire team last time, Nimona. So guess what? My Pokemon's fully evolved like yours is. Who's gonna win? Trading attacks on the brink of winning or losing gives me the chills. Let's see who gets the win. Me. Because I'm gonna be able to take whatever... Oh, no. You got Dark-type moves, don't you? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Actual uh-oh. I'm... I don't know how this is gonna go. Because Meowskarada is grass and dark. So, if you have, like, I don't know, Night Slash? And I'm a Ghost type who's weak against Dark type. Oh my gosh, man. Meowskarada is too good. Help, help, help. Come on, I just need to survive one hit, man. Ready, ready. Come on, come on, come on. Get ready, this move's gonna hit with the force of all my training. Not Night Slash. Flower Gift. Oh, good, Flower Trick, perfect, that's fine. It's a crit. It's a resisted crit. Wow, it hurts. But Torch Song is gonna do some work. Super effective, same type of attack bonus, and very strong. Done. Okay, thank goodness. Is she, I think she's going easy on me. Right? Like, she totally is going easy on me. Because it's like, you could use Night Slash. Or Bite. I, I think you had Bite. Way to go, Skeledurge. You got it. Nimona, thank you. I knew I was right to believe in you. Yay. Man. Yeah, I don't know what level it learns Night Slash, but... That's enough for me. Man, you've gotten so good. I think that should be enough of a warm-up. You and your Pokemon should be all set now. Here, take these as a thanks for the battle. Three max potions. Okay, great. We'll take it. All right. Two gyms remaining. Then all that'll be left is to try out to be a champion. Give it all you got. Now let's get back to your gym lobby. Oh my gosh. So when I first played through Scarlet, uh, this was the hardest gym. Uh, simply because I chose the grass type starter. I chose the cat on my first play through this. And obviously the grass is not going to be good against anything ice. So I was at a deep disadvantage when I first played through this. So it was the hardest, arguably. And the level is set at like 40s, right? So again, it was really, really hard for me. So I struggled a little bit. Uh, but now, since I got Skeledurge, I think it should be relatively easy. All right, here we go. Yahoo, yahoo. So we're going to go do the gym challenge right now. I didn't really read what that guy said, but we're going to go uh, do some snowboarding. Cool. It's like the snowboarding that I wanted. Look at the sun is out. It's not nighttime. I love that. Hey there, I've been waiting for you. This is where the snow slope run starts. Your task is to ride a Pokemon all the way down the course. It's like a slippery, slidey nature trail. Reach the finish line within the target time and you pass the test. Re uh, so, ready to attempt a gym test by taking on the snow slope run? Yeah, absolutely. It's gonna be easy. Let's get the test started then. Enjoy the winter wonderland on your way down. Uh, 
I was just thinking about Sonic. I was just thinking about Sonic. And how I wish there was... I wish there was um, a lot more snowboarding in that game. But that's not the case. Okay, so here we go. We're going to go snowboarding on top of Coridon. All right. Whee! Look at this. So you just hold forward. Uh, the game's going to give you literally a minute 30. But... You're not going to need a minute 30. You're just really going to do this in like maybe 40 seconds. I wish there was more of these kind of like mini games in like the overworld. But that's not the case, unfortunately. <laughs> All right, sub 40, baby. Go, go, go! <laughs> 3893, it's a world record. I'm curious of what happens if you missed one little barrier. Like, you fail? I couldn't imagine someone missing that. I'm curious, though. Congratulations on completing the run. That was some of the best sliding I've ever seen. Almost like seeing Grusha in his prime again. Oh, you obviously passed the gym test with flying colors. Go, uh, go let the receptionist know. I don't know, man. Towards the tail end of the game, they're like, what are we going to make them do for the gym test? Well, why don't they just snowboard down the hill? Oh, that's a good idea. No battles? No, uh, we don't need any battles. <laughs> okay, fine, great. All right, you clear the gym test. Now you've earned the right to challenge a gym leader. Best of luck. Do we want to face the Sub-Zero Shredder himself? Gym leader Grusha? That's right. Let's do it, let's do it. Na 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 na. <laughs> wow. Hello. What are you doing here? You little toddler. Hi. Oh yeah. There you are. Purr, I'm freezing. I take it you're a challenger. My name is Grusha. I'm a snowboarder. I used to be pro, actually. Now I'm a gym leader. I saw you on the slopes. Your skills, yeah, they were pretty cool. But don't let that go to your head. Winter mountains are dangerous. They can throw your life right off course. Easy as that. Same thing with Pokemon battles, really. It's always the most dangerous when you're just starting to get the hang of things. Today's not a great day to face me, you know. You're better off giving up. You sure you want to battle me? Uh, I'm not sure now. <laughs> too bad, man. I got a coat and I'm wearing it. Let's go. Still trying to act cool, huh? That's too bad. Well, this is my job now. So don't take what I'm about to do personally. Get ready to feel the icy bite of reality. All right, here's Grusha. Frost Moth? Oh, you're done. I wish I had an X speed. Don't say I didn't warn you. Not my fault if you get overwhelmed. I think I... I'm going to look at my bag if I have an X speed. I do. I'm going to use it. I don't think Frost Moth has anything to touch me. Bug Buzz is resisted. Any ice move is resisted? You got nothing. Blizzard? Unless I get frozen. How much damage? Oh, dude. That was like 30% damage? I'm good. I'm hoping by terrestrializing first turn, I could just breeze through, press A to win. With the plus two speed, I know I'm like a really slow crocodile, but like, come on. And the cool thing about this is, honestly, if I were to build, like, a competitive build for this guy, I would give him a, a, a Choice Scarf, right? If you give him a Choice Scarf, lock him into one move, and just make sure that his speed is, like, doubled through that, like, he could just Choice Scarf and then Fire Song everything. 
And then that's just like a late game cleanup because every time you use Fire Song, your uh, special attack is going to go up by one stage, and you're already naturally outspeeding everyone too. So I would totally give him a choice scarf once once we get it in the game. I think after we beat the um, I think after we beat the eighth gym, you can get a choice scarf in the first area for a hundred thousand. So anyway, so now it's just a matter of breezing through these guys, pressing A to win. Great. I can care less, man. We're good. It's supposed to be easy right now, because I have the starter that beats ice. Alright, ready. Press A to win, baby. It's a Titan. Good, good luck. I'm already at plus two special attack, man. You're not surviving unless you got, like, sturdy or a priority move. Now, also keep in mind, these Pokemon are at level 47 right now. Oh, no! One HP, a Titan? Oh, God. Liquidation? F I survived on 4 HP. Holy moly. Ice Shard! Shard! Uh-oh! Dude, I... I... I no! Where are you get? Well, how are you faster than me? What is Ice Spinner? If only that first hit did a little bit more, man. I was ready for this. I'm not going to win now. I got to come up with something else now. Altaria? I don't know what Altaria's going to... He's probably going to do like Air Slash or something. I'm going to get owned. Ah, uh, you're not just talk, I see, but you're one of the... Oh my gosh, man. I'm getting thrown for a loop here, dude. It survived with one HP and then proceeded to rock me. Do a nice move. You know what, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to nuzzle it. I'm going to bring Palmo in. Palmo is going to be able to nuzzle it. It's going to get paralyzed. And then we're going to proceed to hit it with fighting moves. I got this in the bag. Don't you worry, man. Don't you worry. And I get to listen to my favorite music, too. Dragon Balls. Oh, come on! Da -na 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 Ten levels higher than me, look. That's super effective. You're always just one step away from devastation. The cold will leave you shaking. Ice beam? I'm good. Wait, that's the same... Guys, 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 I might lose. I might, I might actually lose right now. I'm trying to, I'm like running all the calculations and possibilities. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like Dr. Strange over here, thinking of all the possibilities right now of how I'm going to dig myself out of this hole. Na 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 na. Miss. Good. Yes, yes, yes. 
thank you, thank you. You missed the hurricane. Beautiful. <sighs> okay, we got a lucky miss on the hurricane. Okay, good survival. Doc Spun, confused. I mean, he's not gonna do anything in battle. He's he's my he's my little reviver guy. Moonblast is gonna own me. Pummel doesn't do anything. Uh, Rock Boy, nothing happens here. Till it. Mm okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. What's the move set? I got this. I got this. The move set is all special. Moonblast, Hurricane, Ice Beam, Dragon Pulse. All special attacks. Here we go. Watch, 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 watch. Tell me I have an X special defense. Yes, I do. Come on, man. You can't hit a hurricane. Yes. Get owned. You're mine. You can't hit hurricanes just like that, dude. If I get confused, I'm done. Oh, oh, oh no, no, no. Oh, I got confused by hurricane. Don't hit yourself, man. Good. That's not enough. Actually, that is enough. 76 out of 148, bag. Full heal, full heal, full heal, full heal, full heal, full heal, full heal. I'm gonna spray this on my Pokemon and uh, I'm gonna think of Nimona. I'm at half health right now. I got this, I got this guys, I got it. Stop hitting the hurricane! Yes! Wait, can I take another one? 37? Ah, uh, ah. Uh. I just not, I, I'm good. Just like, stop, man. I don't need the the confusion. You, there's no way you're hitting four hurricanes in a row. And I got confused right now. I need to break through confusion. If I don't break through confusion, I lose. 50-50 coin flip, man. Yes! Okay! <laughs> oh, man! Oh, 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 Wow. Na, 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 na. That was crazy, man. Okay, okay, okay. So, min-max damage was doing some real good work against me. Uh, I thought it was going to be a spring breeze. I thought it was we were going to go through like a breeze on a mountain, sweeping through the team with a plus two uh, speed, outspeeding literally everyone, but then Satitan came by and literally knocked me out with two moves. Anyway, just like how I used to be. Um, oh, never mind. I should give you your gym badge. Yeah, you should, man. Oh. <clears throat> huh. You want a photo together to commemorate your win? Come on, that's so uncool. I don't usually do that sort of thing, but okay, fine, special occasion. Wow. That was so rough. That was really rough. <laughs> With seven badges, you should be able to catch Pokemon up to 55 more easily. They'll listen to you too, which is nice. Oh, before I forget, you should take this too. Ice Spinner. All right, cool. Destroys the terrain. Should be a lot more useful than some silly photo of you and me. Feel free to stop by again and don't mind the, the cold, if you don't mind the cold, that is. I do mind the cold, and I mind this little guy and his evolution that completely rocked me. That was so fun. Man, I have you guys on the edge of your seat. Did you guys like that? It was a lot easier, a lot more exciting than pressing the A button to win, which I was originally setting out to do. Hey, hey, Rika here at your service. These gems really aren't giving you much trouble, are they? 
Nope. Rika, Rika. Huh? All right. You two haven't met, have you? This young man is Abdallah. He's so good with Pokemon. Even La Primera is taking an interest in him. Oh, wow, wow. But I think the Pokemon on Team Poppy are really strong, too. Like, really strong. Which one of you is stronger, do you think? Uh, well, I'm one of the Elite Four, so I'm more amazing. Ha! <laughs> now aren't you just adorable? I know it's hard to believe, but this tiny one is indeed one of the Elite Four. Yeah, I am. I hope to get to show you my Pokemon soon, mister. So hurry up and come to the Pokemon League. It's where uh, the uh, pinnacle, it's where the pinnacle of Pokemon battling happens. See you there. Hey, wait up. Well, you keep up the good work. You heard the kid, she's waiting for you. Wait up, Poppy. Don't leave your pal Rika behind. Well, we met... Uh, three? No, yeah, we met three of the Elite Four. Hey, hey, I think that battle has been worthy at the very end. Super awesome. Whoa, yeah, man. That, oof. I don't know how we made it. We are, we are scraping by with this game, and it's so fun. It is such an experience. I'm having a blast. All right, so uh, all my Pokemon are fainted. Congratulations. Uh, so right now, what we need to do is we need to start gearing up for the Titan of the Desert. Dun, dun, dun. Let's gear up for the Titan of the Desert. Um, that is going to give us a little bit more power on our Coridon. We're going to power him up a little bit more. Uh, I'm all out of tears, so we're not crying. Um, but we're going to have a good time. We're, we're going to have a good time and hopefully win another gym battle sometime soon. Because I need to go catch my teammates. My teammates are level 55, 60, and they're waiting for me to catch them. So I'm, I'm scraping by with these babies, with these B-team babies, and it's it, we're scraping. That's, that's just really it. Okay, anyway, so uh, right over here, as you can see, the next Titan is right over in this area. He is the Titan um, of the Desert. We're going to set this as a destination. I have a Pokemon in the form of Satitan, who is the Ice-type. He can do Ice-type uh, moves against the Ground-type that's over there. And do I have any other moves that hit Ground-types? I really don't. My team's kind of weak against Ground, if you look at it. Uh, Skeledurge is going to get owned. Um... Cloth is going to get owned, Palmy is going to get owned by ground, and Doggo is, is fine. So, like, anyway, this is exactly what we're going to do. So, here's hoping that we can knock that out very, very soon. Anyway, thanks for being here. Thanks for enjoying the series. Let's go catch ourselves a Titan, right? Let's do it. Let's get ourselves a Titan. Let's go. So, these are the bottom of the barrel blasters. Yeah, you remember that? That's so funny. So these are the bottom of the barrel blasters. You don't even know what that means, man. All right, friends, let's do some work. Okay, thanks so much for hanging out, guys. I've been uh, really appreciating everything that you guys have been doing for all of the support over here. Huge shout-outs to all of you guys watching along live. Shout-outs to the mod team. Shout-outs to the chapter chat. All of our members, all of our elites back on AbdallahSmash.com, which if you didn't already see, uh, we've got tons of things happening over here. We worked really hard on getting some really cool new merch. Uh, we also are rocking through with some really fun Play Hero sessions uh, where we can book some time with me and we can play some Pokemon together. We can catch your favorite Pokemon or if you want all the exclusives, I can absolutely trade all the exclusives to you. Super easy. Um, other than that, um, shout outs to all of our Abdala Nation Elite members. You guys can absolutely become one of those. We've got a small handful of you guys and we're going to be doing some actual shiny hunting with the Elite members this upcoming weekend. I'm like announcing it right now. Some of you guys have already heard about it, but... Yeah, it's going to be really fun, so make sure that you guys are on board with that. Check it out at AbdallahSmash.com. All right, you guys ready? Let's do this. I'm ready for even more Pokemon. We are going to go through, and we're going to hunt ourselves a Titan. Thanks so much for watching, and thanks for enjoying all of Pokemon Scarlet right over here. Uh, I'm really hoping that we're going to have an easy time doing this. I don't really know what level this Titan's at. Uh, all I know is that my team, three out of, what, six out of my team are weak against ground. And I have to do something against that. So let's do it. Let's knock it out. Hey, Abdallah. Apparently this desert is home to the Quaking Earth Titan. Uh, speaking of which, the ground's been shaking off and on and uh, making me feel a bit sick. Sorry, I'm going to go sit down and rest a little before I get back to Titan hunting. Okay. Go ahead and rest a little bit there, buddy. You need it. You deserved it. You got to make sure your dog's doing okay, man. Don't let anything happen to that dog, I swear it. 
So I'm gonna go over here and check out this den. We don't necessarily need whatever's in there. The little... What's his name? Nim... Nim... Something? <laughs> anyway. Nimble! Nimble, that's his name. Acid spray. Soft sand? Great! I was looking for that. Hello? Oh yeah! He is out and about. Look at this guy. This thing is out and about with the pink. Remember we saw this reveal on the official Pokemon uh, channel? That's cool, right? We're like, oh my gosh, what is Great Tusk and Iron Treads? What is that? And now we're over here seeing him in his full glory. Look at this thing. It's Gigantor. Wow, we are being very careful as to not run into it. Okay, watch out. Uh-huh, yep. Sada, what are you doing here? Uh, this is Professor Sada. Great Tusk is a Pokemon that came from the Great Crater of Paldea. I ask uh, that you do whatever is needed to subdue it for me. With all due caution, of course. The Quaking Earth Titan. Alright, we're going to go Terrastalizing with the uh, Ice type here. Here's hoping we don't eat a fighting move. That's my only worry. Because uh, the Great Tusk is a ground fighting type. So, being the fact that I'm ice, I'm weak against fighting. I don't know if I could take a hit. And this is the Titan. Brick Break. That took me down to low health. If I don't do a one hit KO, I lose. Great. Oh, we're still doing this. Okay. Oh, Ice Shard. I learned that from Grusha. Wait! That didn't do anything! Oh, good, good, good. <laughs> I was gonna say, like, what? <laughs> I did not do any damage. Yo, I learned that from Grusha. Remember that? He thought he was gonna win. Yo, dude legit thought he was gonna... Oh, I'm done, man. Wow. I'm gonna try to win, man. I honestly don't think I'm gonna... I don't know if I can win against this guy. I remember the first time I played against him, he literally destroyed me. Many times. And I'm like, dude, I have to just wait until this guy until the very end of the game. Like, because I don't know what his type is, I don't know anything about him. But now, I think I think I could take a Brick Break. And plus, we got Arvin's Pokemon. That can take a hit for us. Wait, that's the Quaking Earth Titan. Uh, is that thing even a Pokemon? It must be trying to get pumped up with that little snack. Time to show that thing what you and me can do, Abdullah. Oh, yeah. Getting huge over here. Okay, so I'm going to do another avalanche. I'm going to use Scovillain. I caught nearby to seize a real spicy victory. Scovillain over here. One of my favorite new Pokemon. Especially if you start off with Quaxley. If you start off with Quaxley, you need to find yourself a Scovillain. Because Scovillain is the only Pokemon that is the grass and fire type. He's like a little green pepper and a red pepper. He's cool. Look at this little guy. Stomping Tantrum. I'm, I'm in. Thank you. Razor Leaf. Good shot, kid. Big Avalanche. I don't know if it's enough. That's not enough damage. If I eat a fighting move, I'm done. So I can Ice Shard, do a little bit of damage on my way out, or risk it all. Risk it all. Great knockoff. Thank you, Skull Villain. Thanks for taking the hit, big guy. Oh, we win now. So remember Capsa Kid? Yeah, Capsa Kid evolves into Skull Villain. He's good. Yes, Razor Leaf. That's one HP. <gasps> Rapid Spin? I'll take a rapid spin. Thanks for not doing Brick Break on me, which you know you could have. And here's an avalanche. GG's, friends. Na 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 na. 
Na 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 na. Na 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 na. That's not the music we get though. It's my favorite music. See you later. So as you can see over here, this Pokemon came from the Great Crater. Like, Professor Asada legit interrupted us and told us about that. That hasn't been the case with any other Titans. All the other Titans were just wild Pokemon that just ate the stuff and got huge. But this is a different species. What's up with that? Hmm, nice going, little buddy. What even was that thing, though? Uh, I kind of feel like maybe I've seen it before somewhere. Anyway, I bet if we head inside here, we'll find more of that Herba Mystica, Mystica it was eating. Uh, let's give the place a once-over before that thing decides to come back. Come out, come out, wherever you are. What's that on the ground? Did you guys see that on the ground? What was that? Was that on my screen? It looked like a Pokeball or something. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, yes, found it. Here's our little herb. You and Arvin found the Sour Herba Mystica. Get it. The shape, this sheen, it looks like it'll taste horrible, which means it's got to be good for you. Now then, let's see, what does the book have to say? Okay, Sour Herba Mystica is chock full of nutrients and is great for boosting your overall health. It says here it works wonders whether you're tired physically or mentally. Perks you right up. No time to waste, let's get some food going. Yeah. Great. Sorry for the wait. Here's a super healthy sandwich that'll perk you right up once you eat it. Plus, as a token of our friendship, here's another Titan badge. Gaze upon it in awe as you eat. Yeah. Okay, Quaking Earth Titan defeated. Path of Legends. Got it. Hello. Did you smell a sandwich? Yeah, just have the whole thing, man. I'm not hungry anyway. <laughs> Come on out, my boss. That food's up. Sad. How's this story gonna end, man? Would you look at that? Seems like someone's got a proper appetite now. Yay! We're able to glide! Sweet. Seems like that fellow's also, uh, also slowly regaining its original strength. Uh, still, it doesn't look like it's anywhere close to returning to its battle form. It seems healthy enough physically. Maybe it's got some kind of mental block that's preventing it from t returning to its true form. A mental block? I've read about it in books before. A mental scar, like psychological trauma, you know? Yeah, I think that's what you call it. Maybe it had a terrifying experience in battle, so now it's scared to battle at all. Well, don't worry. I'm sure both that brute and Mabostiff uh, will make a full recovery eventually. So how do you feel, Mabostiff? How's that Herba Mystica working? No, uh, no pressure. Not like it's fair to expect every kind of Herba Mystica to have some sort of huge effect, right? And it's not like the effect has to be immediate either. It's okay, don't worry. Abdon and I are gonna make sure you're right as rain. We've got one more herb to go and I bet it's the best of them all. It's, it's just gotta be. All right, Abdallah, the next stop on our little herb hunt should be the last. But we can't lose steam until we're done. Let's keep up our momentum. Here we go. Well, they're talking to each other. Oh, gosh. What's gonna happen? What's gonna happen to Mabostiff, man? I 
Hello, Abdullah. This is Sada. Hello, Sada. I detect that Karaidon has regained more of its original power. After it has jumped into the air, you should try pressing the B button again. It should glide now. Wow. You must continue helping Karaidon recover. I will. Thank you. Easy Titan. All right, Easy Titan. Thanks to Su Titan. Uh, now that we can f we can glide a little bit, that's going to be a little easier to kind of maneuver around here. Love that. Now we have an option. I want to see. Can we get to this last gym? The gym is going to be quite a challenge. It's a psychic gym. Uh, do I have anyone? I do. Yeah, yeah. My ghost is going to do a lot of work. So what do you guys say? Let let's attempt to go here. I don't know if we can because it's like I'm gonna attempt to it. I'm gonna attempt to do it. Um, I may need climbing. We either have that or we go try to get this last titan. And the last last titan is over here in the lake with a dragon. He's a dragon. I do have ice. I mean, so titan could do some work, but my team is like super weak. I got some little anti dragon attacks in the form of this guy and, and play rough. We could try it. Yeah, yeah, I think that's going to be a little bit... <laughs> I think we're going to do that instead. Let's go get the second Titan. Okay, okay, I'm good with that. Just had to make up my mind on where we're going to have to go. Um, it is... Oof, man. Okay, so we're going to go over here to Glaciado Mountain. And then we're going to go knock out two Titans. Easy. The False Dragon. How's my health? My health is great. Cloth, you're doing work, man. Okay, so taking a look at this map, I'm right over this way. All we have to do is head on over to the Titan. Uh, and let's set it as a destination and see if we can beat it. There's a Gardevoir in the area. Cool. Yeah, look at me gliding on my Coridon. Yeah, super fun. Look at that. Whenever you see these watchtower looking things, you can easily uh, climb to the very top of them. And once you do so, you'll then be able to warp over to there at no problem in the future. Boom! Just like that. And what do you know? It's a chest over this way. Oh my gosh, what's in that chest? I don't know, but I'm afraid. Afraid to find out. What's in that chest, guys? Okay. We're going. We are gliding. And now you can see that our descent is happening right here. You cannot glide forever. There's a little bit of stamina involved with it. And we are sinking. Prepare to sink. Boom. Awesome. Okay. Who should be my first Pokemon in this area? I think I'm going to have to bring out Satitan. Yeah. Satitan's going to have to do some work. Um, maybe. Oh, maybe, maybe you. Yeah, yeah. Dog. Let's go, dog. Okay, dog's gonna be good against dragons. Oh, yeah, yeah. We fought these little baby sushi guys before, remember them? They were like level 50? Tatsugiri? So, oh my gosh, Tatsugiri is going to destroy us. Okay, that's great. Why can't I escape? Oh, is this a static encounter with Tatsugiri? Okay. I guess. I'm gonna terrestrialize and, and try to beat Tatsugiri up. Um, I'm not really trying to do that. I want to get out of here and go find the, the Titan. But he's actually one of my favorite little new dragons in the game. He's like a little baby sushi. And somehow he's a water dragon type. How cute is that? And he's using Memento. Great. And he's gone. Catch you later. I use my Terra Orb, so I need to I need to go. Hyper Voice, Hyper Voice is okay. I don't necessarily need Snarl. Yeah, I'll use I'll use Hyper Voice. We're not gonna do any other double battles in this game. Um, so yeah, so since I use my Terra type, I need to go back and heal. Uh, so allow me to go and do just that. That's unfortunate. I'm gonna try not to step on any of these guys, or at least talk to them. We arrived at our destination. Um, this is a warp if I get over there. So let me go back to the... Oh, I don't think I can. 
I'm going to try to go over there for the warp so it's a little bit easier to come back. Um, otherwise, I... Yeah, I need that Terra Orb. That's one of those things, man. It's like, you got to have that Terra Orb because you never know when you're going to need it. Right? As we learned from that one time where we were battling around with the Diglett. Whoa, Slowpoke. Cool. I think this is the warp over here. Oh, Scyther. Cool. Nice to meet you. I No, I don't have the warp yet. Uh, that's weird. Okay, so that's fine. You know what? We're good. We're good. Oh, yeah. One of those stakes. Oh, I love it. Yeah. What do you know about these, huh? Have you ever seen one of those before? Have you? There, there we go. We got the we got the warp now, so we're set. Have you ever seen one of those stakes before? What is that? What is that mysterious thing in the overworld? Get it? What could that possibly be? If you guys remember the Spiritum Wisps in Pokemon Legends Arceus, or the Zygarde pieces, or whatever they are. Uh, it's kind of like that in this game. There's 24 of them hidden in the overworld. So you better watch out, man. They're very hidden. And I kid you not, when I was playing this game the first time, it took me at least like 10 to 15 hours scouring the entire map for all 24 of them. Can you imagine that? that as your job? Can you imagine that as your job? Yeah, right. Well, Vaporeon is plentiful in this area, so I'm very happy about that, but that's not on our docket right now. We are not, we are 100% not going to go catch a Vaporeon yet. Soon. We got to get all of our gym badges, and then we'll be fine. Okay, so here we go. We're looking for the False Dragon. Our first Pokemon is going to be Doc's Bun. And what do you know? This fish is bigger than the rest of them, huh? Give me that. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Big fish. With a nose. Dondozo, uh, the False Dragon Titan. Let's see if we can do this work. I actually don't know the typing of Don Dozo. You'd think it's dragon, yeah? Let's see how we do. Is that as big as a whale lord? It's not a dragon type. And I got paralyzed. Come on, man. Wow, I got paralyzed, and I'm out here trying to do this work. I don't think I'm ready for this battle. I brought a fairy type expecting a dragon, and then this false dragon comes over here, and he's not that typing. Dude, I gotta get out of here. I'm not prepared. Come on, Palmo. Palmo should have been the one to terastalize. I'm out. And he's got Water Pulse that's going to knock out Cloth. Water Pulse is going to knock out Skeledurge. All I have is Tauros and Satitan. And he's a Water type, so what's Satitan going to do? Great. Okay, this is rough. He's paralyzed right now, so maybe we can do some damage. Um, Maybe with like a Raging Bull? Maybe a little bit of a Zen Headbutt for maybe getting the Flinch? Flinch Paralysis could do some work? He's using Body Slam. He's using a mixed move set. 
Raging Bull. Zen Headbutt for the flinch. 80, 80 base power. Uh, I'm going to try for the flinch paralysis. That's really all I got, man. There's no way! Holy moly, man. Dude, how would he, how did he not get paralyzed once? He's at half health, man. I don't know how we're beating this. I don't have any other debuffs. Yawn would have been cool. Well, you know what? Here we go. We're going to swap in this Ice Boy. I got to go bouncing. I got to attempt to go bouncing. I hope that's enough damage. Really? He missed the bounce? <laughs> I'm lucky I got paralyzed, man. Bounce takes so much. Come on, get up there. So Titan is going to be the one that... The par paralysis is going to work in for us. How do I miss two bounces? Oh, I was going to say, dude. No, don't do that. Water pulse hurts. Uh, okay, that's one third of my health. Oh, and the confusion. Oh no, you can't, man. Um, um, um. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. So it's a, it's a Titan. You're going to use this item in order to maybe get dog back. Bring dog back. Who's this over here? Tauros with the water move. Yeah, I mean, I could. This is going to be hard. I'm hoping that I get some free item turns here. Aquatel miss. Good, good. I need free item turns. This is very, very hard. I went against my better judgment. And um, who am I using it on? Here we go. Went against my better judgment. I'm like, dude, I needed to get even stronger Pokemon against this. Um... I'm just going to attempt to bounce, whatever. I have to break through two... Oh my gosh. Okay, great. Good job. He hit himself in confusion and KO'd himself. There's no target. Okay, Dondozo, are you ready? I need like an X attack or something. Like, I got to. I got to do this. I can take one water pulse or hope for the paralysis. Hope for the paralysis, man. But don't get paralyzed. I don't have many full restores, dude. Like, don't do this to me, game. I'm, I got paralyzed. <laughs> Come on, guys. We got it. We got it. We got it. A crit. Talk to me about that. That's my only hope right there. Tauros is my only hope. <laughs> the game's like, no, we are not going to make this easy for you. We got this, though. Don't worry. Don't you worry your little head off. I got it. Cloth, do your best, man. I got this. Okay, here we go. Round two with Tauros. Round two. 
Don't get paralyzed from a body slam. Don't get critted on. We're gonna try this again. X attack. Go. Yes. Okay. Now I need to use um, the psychic attack or like I don't think I'm gonna one shot him. So I'm gonna try the Zen headbutt. It's gonna be a little chip damage, but I'm hoping for the flinch and the paralysis. And he missed that. Great. But he's still breaking through flinch and paralysis. Don't miss that. You can't miss. Don't get paralyzed, man. Don't. Oh, good. How much health? 61. Go, go, go. You gotta get a flinch paralysis. Thank you. Okay, so now he's got enough health that I can do the raging bull and KO him. Not enough. Oh, because he... <laughs> oh my gosh, wow. This is... This is... Oh, all right. He's gone, so. Wow, was that hard? Thank goodness. I'm... I don't know if I'm trying to make the game hard or what, but we are not taking any time to raise our Pokemon. And that is a fascinating way of playing this game. That was only stage one, but like, we got this. I'm gonna go follow him to wherever he was going. There's a cave nearby. We got this. Doxund, Doxbund, uh, he's gonna come over here, Doxbund. He's gonna do the work for me. What item is he holding? Yeah, 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 he's gonna do the work for me. Let's go. We got this. He is a Doxbun. he is a Doxbun. Yeah, our, our, the RNG was very, very hard. We were very unlucky. We got critted on, we got paralysis, all that crazy stuff. You ready? Let's do it. False dragon. Oh! Oh, break it, huh? He's in tandem with the little sushi boy. <laughs> oh, and we got Arvin, which can be a punching bag. Thank you. Hey, Abdallah, did you find the Titan? Oh, man, you better believe I did. So that's it. Sure is a big one. A big uh, dragon. Wait, is it even a dragon or is it a fish? Huh? Oh, the little sushi guy got eaten up by the Titan? Yeesh, didn't expect to see the food chain in action today. I'm sorry, what's going on now? <laughs> um... The food chain's got me pretty fascinated. I'm gonna dig in and make a meal of this battle. Dondoza use order up. Oh, we put sushi on the table. Good. Oh, we're both using tail whip. Great. Let's do it. Let's lower that defense, man. Yeah, I'm gonna do it again. You do it too. He's minus three. Aqua tail on who? Takedown. Ooh, look at me playing support role. Come on, greet it. Wow. This fish is threatened by that big chipmunk. You know what that means now? Arvin only has one Pokemon. So, I need to bring in a Pokemon to get sacrificed. And that's going to be you. It's a Titan. 
Doc Spun, we're going to hold on to him for a little bit. This guy's minus like four, minus four defense, at least. Wait, why did I use Flail? I meant to use Bounce. Uh-oh. I meant to use Bounce. That was a misclick. Whoops. Now Flail would have been cool. This has to KO, man. It's strong. <laughs> Look at him in the air! This game's so good! <laughs> oh my gosh. Alright, 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 alright. How did that not do so much damage? Okay, so, uh, this is strong. I'm very underleveled. I'm low-key almost out of revives here. I thought that since he was minus, like, three defense, my spark would do a lot more. So I literally brought Cloth in to take this hit and revive Palmo back. Because I need Palmo in to, like, get the paralysis. Otherwise, we're done, man. He's way stronger in the second, uh, in the second phase. This is... Okay, slow him down a little bit. Get hit once, fine. It's okay, we're good, we're good, we got this. The paralysis is rough though. Uh, Tauros is here, Tauros can do the work. Dachshund can also do the work too. Um, I should be able to come in with Skeledurge and do a Shadow Ball and then proceed to faint. <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to make this, man. Arvin, man, I thought you had more than one Pokemon. Ah, uh, Shadow Ball's not good, because it's not. I need, like, three more of those. Order up. What move is that? Oh, good. Get a crit, man. Miss! Oh, yeah, here, here, here's your crit. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Um. Yeah. Okay, I think I got this. I think I got this. I'm just, like, going through every... Uh, if I miss this 90% move. Okay, Dondozo's done. Great. We got a lot of work to do, man. We did it, Abdallah. Now that the Titan's taken care of, next up on the menu is that Herba Mystica. Hmm? Whoa, the little sushi guy escaped without becoming that thing's lunch? Wait, does that thing want to fight too? <laughs> Are all our Pokemon healed? Oh, thank you. All right, this is going to be the real battle. Taunted me? I can't, I can't, yeah, 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 we cannot do that. We can't use Tail Whip. But you can, thanks. Yo, he just taunted me. 
All right. It's time. You know what would have been a lot better had I not gotten taunted if I used like an X attack or something. Uh, I do want to terastalize. So we can start doing some damage to this false dragon. Tatsugiri, we know, is a dragon type. Water dragon, man. Dragon pulse? Ooh, good luck, good luck, little guy. You good? You good? Okay, here's play rough. How much? Ah, that's like a four hit KO. Oh, now it's gonna be like a three hit KO with the extra added defense fall. So I'm not going to use the X attack. I'm just gonna do two more of these and they win. Provided I... Provided this big chipmunk takes all the damage, which he took two hits. Gave me the two tail whips that I needed, and we can win this. One more hit. Don't get one hit KO'd by whatever. Don't. Muddy water. Muddy water? Muddy actual water, man? Mm. Come on, Palmo. You gotta be faster in this thing. Icy wind? That's a weak move, too! Oh, gosh, help me! Alright, alright, alright. I can't even paralyze the guy. It's okay. We got this. He, there's no way he's going to have another move that's going to knock me out. This should be good enough to knock him out and win. Taunt. Perfect. Thank you. Okay, don't miss the avalanche, man. Oh, be enough. Be enough to KO this guy, please. Oh, okay, okay, okay. You got, you got a couple ice shards, but that's not worth doing. Muddy water? Miss. Yes! Don't miss this avalanche! Flash. Yes! Good, 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 good. That was so hard. <laughs> oh, Tatsugiri, man. Woo! Three rounds of our baby team. That's a mamma mia right there. Wow, talk about hard. Ooh, no extra grinding. Here we go. Okay, perfect. Oh, nice job, Dal. That's my hard-working little bud. Maybe the Titan was both those Pokemon together, like some kind of combo meal. The little one came out of here, which means there should be some Urban Mystic inside. Let's go, Abdallah. The last one, man. We finished it. Cool. The Path of Legend. What's going to happen with Mabostef? Oh, that must be it. <laughs> the last Herba Mystica. Yeah. You and Arvin found the spicy Herba Mystica. That's so good. Okay, let's see what the book has to say. So, Spicy Herba Mystica is supposed to boost your metabolism. It gives you circulation uh, a boost and helps flush out those toxins along with a ton of sweat. You know what's next? It's chow time. And here we go. Trust the Arvin's chock-a-block full of cheer final herb super sandwich. Squeeze this badge tight and cry beautiful tears of friendship as you eat, okay? I will. Or not. False Dragon Titan defeated. That's all five of them, man. We did it. With a baby team that was... If I struggled with a baby team, you'd be fine with a regular team. Just if you're playing along with, you're fine. Alright, have my sandwich, big guy. Yeah, yeah, you can eat the whole thing, man. Yummy. Ooh, there we go. Oh, you feeling all powerful now? Now you're able to climb up vertical surfaces. Cool. We can go reach the last gym now. 
Uh, I guess it's Mabostif's turn then. Come on, bud, eat up. It's gonna make you all better, I promise. Abdal and I, we really did our best to get this for you. We're gonna play with your favorite ball as much as you want. You know, just like we used to. Please get better. That's all I want, really. What do you think is going to happen? I'm a boss stiff. Cutscene. You did your best, bud. Bud. I know, Bud, me too. <laughs> I'm not going to cry, man. That's very sad. So in the end, he did get better. Good. <laughs> right when Arvin was about to give up, man. That's sad. It's like, you did your best, man. We tried. <laughs> All right, anyway. Uh, hello, Abdallah. This is Sada. What? What? It seems that Karaidon has regained all of its powers except for the power to battle. It should now be able to climb up any vertical surfaces it grabs onto while you're riding upon it. I knew you were the right one to entrust it to, Abdallah. Ha, huh, listen to you, like you had anything to do with it. That voice, Arvin, are you there? I've been searching for so long for a way to reach you, because... Because no one else can get into my lab but you. Excuse me? Please take Abdallah back to the lighthouse with you. Uh, to the lab on Poco Path. I'll reach out once more when you arrive there. Man, he is sad. I guess you probably already know, but that that's my mom. Always buried under her work, off pursuing her own research, never at home with me. Uh, that's the first time I've even heard her voice in years, you know. And now what? The first thing I get is to be treated like some kind of errand boy? She's seriously unbelievable. But I'm guessing you and Karaidon probably want to go, eh? I'm not gonna lie. I feel like my blood's boiling, but... Sure, fine. I'll get you to the lab. What else can I do? The lab is off Poco Path at the lighthouse where you and me first met. Come on, let's get moving before I change my mind. Mom, where have you been all this time? Man, that was rough. Okay, that's great. We can go back to lab on Poco Path if we want to, but right now we have to, we gotta call it a day, man. Uh, so that was really fun. We beat all the things. All of Karaidon's abilities are available. That means that we can go get our last gym badge. And our last gym badge is found right over here in the bottom corner. It is Psychic. 
Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I can easily do that because my Skeledurge is a ghost type and he can use Shadow Ball and proceed to KO absolutely everyone. So that's going to be a cakewalk. I'll, I'll give him some X speed at the beginning and maybe like a little bit of an X special attack. And then we got it, right? Press A to win. Okay, so uh, that's going to be... Yeah, I, I'm excited for it. I, I just want to go and do that right now. Like, I really do. But we'll see. Anyway, thanks for watching. The last badge. Oh, man. What do you guys say? Another another half an hour? You guys want to do another, uh, another half an hour? I'm kind of getting hungry, man. Like, low key. Oh, what do you guys think? Who's buying Who's buying dinner? <laughs> oh, no, I'm just messing with you guys. Thanks so much for watching. So cool, though. You guys want another half an hour? Let me know by smashing that like button. And, of course, uh, I see all of you guys subscribe. Thank you so much for doing that. Thanks for sharing the stream. Uh, that was really hard, but I think Skeledurge can do the work. I don't really know where I'm going to get some good items to get him going, though, so... Yeah, let's do it. Let's play another time. I'm I'm excited for it. I'm really excited to play the game some more. At least to get all the badges and just be done with that aspect. We don't have to go over to Arvin's Poco Path at all right now. Like, we can if we wanted to, but we're good. Okay, so that being said, I see all you guys. Let's see some big hype in the chat for another quick half an hour and beat this badge and call it a day. Once we do so, we'll be able to get all the Pokemon that we need for my team. And I just I just want to build the team. I want to build it. Y'all ready? No, it's not. We're going to do, like, literally just 40 more minutes. We're good. And then I'm going to go eat something. So, all right. Thanks so much for hanging out, everyone. Let's do this. All right. After that long and hard, arduous battle against the fishy and the big fishy, it's now time to earn our last gym badge. Uh, our team is not as strong as I hoped it would be, but hey, you know what? This cloth from the very beginning of the game, this palmy from the beginning of the game, Doc's bun, all these guys are from the beginning of the game minus this Titan over here, and that's pretty cool to say. Of course, you don't have to play like that. You guys can play however you want to. It was, uh, it was just a really interesting way to do it. And I guess I'm ready to go. Uh, before I go there, I'm going to head on over to Mesa Goza. I'm going to see if there's any other kinds of, I don't know, equip items that can help out with doing a lot more damage. I may need to invest in some X speed, maybe some X special attack. Uh, something along those lines, because when your Pokemon aren't strong enough, you may need to use items to augment them, to augment their stats. So anyway... Uh, taking a look over here, Delibird Presence is right over this way. So I'm going to set that as a destination. The entire area of Mesa Goza is really, I don't know, it's like a big maze. And I wish there was like a better, a better way of navigating it um, other than going to the map like this. So anyway, here we go. So let's go over here to Delibird Presence. Let's see if they have anything for me. I know I have access to Quick Balls now, which is great. So let's take a look. Battle items, what do I got? What do we got? Uh, charcoal, Mystic Water, uh, Sharp Beak, Muscle Band, Wise Glasses, Expert Belt is real good. Choice Scarf is even better, man. I'm going Choice Scarf. 100,000? What? I don't have that kind of money. 100,000 for a Choice Scarf? Ooh, boy, help me. Where am I getting 50,000 from? Choice Scarf is good, don't get me wrong, man. That's the item, that is the item for my croc right now. What you guys don't realize is that that is the item. Uh, because he's so slow. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. Get it, we're selling some stuff. Uh, everything in the treasures category over here. I don't know if I can raise 100,000 to be honest. 12? No, I can't. I got a couple rare bones. I got some pretty feathers, but this is not a hundred thousand bucks worth. So I'm broke as a joke, man. I have 75. It's not like you can give, you could pay a portion of it. No, I'm just going to have to settle for an expert belt. Um, expert belt's actually pretty good. So I'll settle for expert belt. I really wanted that other thing, but eh, what can you do? Get ready. No, 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 no. Expert Pelt is good, right? It'll work. Uh, yeah, here we go. Oh my gosh. 
Yo, I'm I'm running faster than the camera can actually keep up. You see that right now? <laughs> it's like Sonic in some of the levels. All right, here we go. Gotta go fast. All right, buy me buy me an expert belt, please, for thirty thousand. I would highly recommend getting this item because it deals extra damage whenever you are using super effective hits. So obviously, I'll pay with cash. Although league points probably would have been smarter. Dang it. Can I get a refund? All right, so uh, Skella Dirge has been holding on to this item the entire game. It's charcoal, it boosts the power of um, fire type attacks. But right now we're gonna do an expert belt. That's good. There we go. So now we're set. So let's go and earn ourselves our last gym badge. Let's do this. All right. So now the closest Pokemon Center is right over here in Cortando West. We're going to jump off. We're going to fly in the air. We're going to climb. Coridon can go anywhere now. So uh, you know what that means. Once we're done getting all the gym badges, I can start going and pick handpicking the Pokemon that I want with no limitations. That means I can go get a level 50 Vaporeon on my team. I can go get a Sabertooth Tiger Ice Cat. Ooh, ooh, a little bit of a uh, little bit of foreshadowing right over here. Sabertooth Tiger Ice Cat. You guys don't know anything about that. All right, here we go. Am I healed? Is my Terra Orb up? Probably. I don't know. Dude, you gotta get I gotta get some sort of cat in this playthrough, right? Like that's the thing. You guys wanted me to be Fue Coco. So we're alligator instead of cat. Great. Who's this little guy? Please leave. Doc's bun. So yeah, our team is our team is getting getting along pretty well. Okay, so as you can see over here, all you have to do is jump towards any of the walls and you will automatically start climbing. It's a little janky at times when it's not a nice flat surface on the way up, but hey, we'll make it. Get ready. Do it. Here we go. Oh, we are climbing, man. We have just opened up all of the exploration uh, ability with this game now. So it's super good. Especially if you guys are looking for TMs, or if you're looking for any kind of Pokemon, and you don't necessarily want to go over here and be stuck with a team that you got from the very beginning. Like, absolutely. You can go exploring to your heart's content. You can find your treasure. Okay. Find my treasure. It's right over here. Yo, you guys ready to emote with me? I hope you guys are. Look at this. I can jump on top of these buildings. It's so cool. Land right on top of a skyscraper. Boom. <laughs> That's fun. Alright, Skeledurge, you ready? Do I have X speed? Let me check my bag first, man. I don't. Good thing I checked. Where do I go? Let me see, let me see. I need to go to this Pokemon Center. And then, oh, the Pokemon Center should have X speed, right? I think that's where you buy it. Uh, don't tell me I gotta go back to Delibird Presence. Let me see. All right, here we go, I'd like to buy. And we have Quick Balls, yes we do. I will buy 20 of them, thank you. I also need X speed, please. Do you have X speed? Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. No, you do not. Okay, okay, that's fascinating. Back to Delibird Presence it is. See, good thing I checked, right? Like, that's one of those things, man. Like, you, you better be prepared. Especially if I'm going to try one of these, um, these crazy strategies of using this underleveled team, man. Like, you better be prepared. It's all good. We like exploring the area, too. Okay, I'm ready. The last gym, big hype right over here. We can do it. We can do it. We got the strategy involved. I just need to make sure that my X speed like kicks in right off the bat. And they don't use any like dark moves. Right? That would be pretty bad if they use dark moves. Oh, which way is the way out? Uh, 
Uh, it's either Delibird Presence or Chansey Supply. One of those two has it. The oranges on the trees. Here we go. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Here we go. Let's do it. Let's do it. General goods. And, ooh, look at all these stones and sweet apples. Oh, thank you, thank you. Everstones, power items. No, that's not what I need. Chansey? It's the Chansey supply. I thought it would be this. That's fine. Come on, Chansey supply. Let's go. Can I not climb that? Great. <laughs> Good job, friends. Okay, so I arrived here. Is this it? No? Oh, here we go. The picture with the Chansey on the side. And a little baby electrode. Let's do it. Okay, so we're gonna buy. Uh, we are going to buy exactly this. Okay, so X attack, X defense. Uh, I why did I not buy any X speed? I'm broke. Follow the recommended dosage. Uh, X special defense. I'm gonna buy four of those. I'm gonna accidentally pay with cash that I don't have. Uh, X defense. I'll buy two. Having five is more than enough. X attack. I'll buy one more. Five of each is good. Okay, so now we have the vitamins and the boosting items that we need in order to take on the next gym. And it's the last gym too. We're not gonna be doing the Elite Four yet. Nope, not yet. We just have to earn our badge and then earn our team. So that's what I'm really looking forward to right now is just earning that team so that we're ready to go. And we could press A to win in the ending and just start shiny hunting and all that fun stuff. Let's beat the story mode, man. -na 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 -na. Okay, you ready? Okay, I am 100% ready this time around. We did a little bit of prep work for our last gym. We got our items that we needed. We have our ghost type starter in his final evolution. He's not anywhere near level 50, which I believe our opponents are going to be. So we'll see. And look who we have here. Hi, Nimona. It's finally time for your last gym, right? I heard from Rika, but I'm 0% worried about you. I know you got this. Even La Primera seems like she wants to keep an eye on you. Maybe go find her so that we can cheer you on together when you battle the gym leader. So go have a battle that's fruitful for you and for the crowd. Oh, thanks. Thanks for not battling me and like weakening me before this gym. Welcome to the Alfernada, Alfernada gym. Let me register you as a challenger. Your name's Abdallah, yes? Yeah, it is. Ready. Great, now in order to face a gym leader tulip, you'll first need to pass the gym test. Here at the Alphernada Gym, that means working up a sweat with a special kind of exercise. I'm talking about the emotional spectrum pa practice created by tulip herself, of course. Complete it and you'll pass the test. The woman wearing the black tracksuit in the practice area will explain the rules to you. Just turn left after leading the gym and you'll find the practice area right next door. Now get out there and have fun. You ready? Practice area, let's go. Ready. You guys ready to do like an emotional exercise? I wish I had enough money for a choice scarf. Dang. All right, hey there. Those eyes, look at those eyes. Osu, welcome, new kid. This is where we do emotional spectrum practice. Uh, why, is, why is your battle studies teacher here at the Pokemon gym working as an instructor, you ask? Well, I've been friends with the gym leader here, Tulip, since we were kids. We decided to have a Pokemon battle with a special rule. The loser has to do what the winner says. So we battled, and well... Yep, you lost. Look, never mind what happened. The point is, this is a chance uh, to both get a workout in and help my friend when I don't have classes. The rules of emotional spectrum practice, or ESP for short, is simple. I'll show you a certain movement, and all you have to do is copy it. Get ready, <laughs> ready to get this gym test started. I hope your body and mind are ready for a challenge. Great, let's get exercising. Show me an eruption of emotions. Okay, so here we go. I wanna see you guys play the emotional game along with me. Use all your emotes, and use your face, and play. 
this emotional game. Okay, you guys ready? Emotional spectrum practice? You guys are gonna do it. Let's see who's playing along with. Can you actually do this? I'm watching. I'm paying attention right now. All right, ready? I can see you. Okay, become the embodiment of joy. Give me a joy. Give me another joy. Are you being joyful right now? I need a surprise face. <laughs> All right, give me another joy face, right? There we go. Now you're getting the hang of it. That's right. So you're literally pressing the A, B, Y, or X button whenever she says something like that. Okay, give me like an exciting face. I don't know what an exciting face looks like. I know what a surprise face looked like when I ate that ice shard in the previous one. Uh, and I know what an anger face looks like too when I also ate that ice shard in the previous one against Grusha, man. I thought I had that one down. Uh, here's an embodiment of joy. Looking good. I see all you guys. Good job. Nice, nice, nice faces. Good job. And you finished. You passed it. Good work, all four of you. That was awesome. I can't stop grinning after witnessing such a perfect power of expression. That's enough to war enough of a warm up. Let's put those muscles to work with a Pokemon battle. You got to keep moving. There's no ordinary battle. This is a workout. Hello, Emily. I know you. I know an Emily. That's not spelled that way. All right, get ready. Alright, Skeledurge. I don't need to Terrestrialize. I can knock her out. How am I faster? That's one slow Gotharita. Later. Kirlia? Good luck. Oh, Blaze. Wow, you just took that from me, huh? Nice. Level 43. Uh, I'm 42, so yeah, we're kind of on even playing field here. Not too bad. Later, though. Yeah, this one's going to be pretty... I, I think it's going to be simple. I say that now, but there's going to be something that happens that I'm going to lose. Um, but we do have an expert belt on, so that should be giving additional damage. All I really need is speed right now. Great, I can hear you, your Pokemon, and uh, your muscles screaming with delight. I see you're getting tired, but you gotta hang in there. Time to ha time to start the second half. Oh, come on! All right, now you guys are gonna really play? I need to see your faces. Right now, at home. Give me, like, a happy face. Oh, give me a shocked face, like this. Like you got hit by an ice shard. And here's the joy when you actually beat Nimona with one turn left. Depending on if her Meowskerade was asleep for one more turn. And then you were surprised that it actually happened. It's like a story. See, we're telling a story over here. And then you're angry because you're stuck with these babies and you don't have enough gym badges to get the cool Pokemon yet. It's happening. Ooh! Well, I pressed the wrong one, but I salvaged it. We never really did the green one. It makes a little sound effect, too. Alright, excitement. I'm just excited to beat this and get my final gym badge, please. That's it. Tulip, I'm coming for ya. I totally didn't press the Y button. I wonder what happens if you don't do this. Right, look at this Metacham. Like, are those his pants? Or is he wearing pants and he's just got skinny legs underneath there? How does that work? Metacham looks like an alien. Don't give up yet, it's time for another battle. Hold out against all that lactic acid. My goal is to grow strong and build muscle. Any tips? Yeah, man. Grumpig. Ooh, Grum, there's two types of pigs in Paldea, apparently, huh? All right, time to Shadow Ball. Power Gem, cool. That's a rock type move. Outsped and ate a Power Gem, man. 
You got three Pokemon? Terrastalize. Uh, I'm gonna stay fire if he uses Power Gem. Oh, he's using Rest. He's going to bed. Sweet. Now let's hope he doesn't have Resto Chesto. Uh, Resto Chesto is pretty cool. It's an old school combo where you give your Pokemon a Chesto Berry and it automatically cures the sleep status as soon as you use the rest. So it's like a free turn of recovering all your health. I think it's still valid. Some Pokemon still use that ability. Or that little type combo. Resto Chesto, man. How many of you guys remember that? Okay, here we go. Grumpig down. We got lucky that he allowed us to do that. I was so about to tear it. Um, oh, but you know what I should have done? I should have done my fire move. Double edge. It's strong. Could be like a YOLO move in case I'm... Yeah, get rid of Lick, dude. We'll take it. Indeedy. Yeah, I should have... I should have KO'd him with my, like, fire song, so I have, like, a plus one. That would have been big brain. Alright, indeed he might do some work. Psychic. Uh, yeah. We got the- Oh, he's normal! Oh, shoot, I forgot. Okay, so you're normal psychic. I need to do some work. We need to switch. Normal psychic. Uh, dark moves do work, so I could bite it. But I need to also take a hit. Ah, uh, Doc's bun, man. That was rough. So using a Shadow Ball on a normal type does zero damage. So that's what's cool about Ndidi's typing. Maybe I should have let Skeledurge down. Bite is going to be super effective. I can't take two of those. It's not enough. Sorry, doggo. You had your time. Oh, you're gonna call mind right now? Great, right when I use double edge. I don't know how much double edge is gonna do, but I just kinda gave up right there. Boom! And recoil damage is gonna knock me out. This is why I need Choice Scarf. Okay, okay, now we're back, we're back. Come on, Cloth. This is my fastest Pokemon, so if Palmo doesn't do the work... <sighs> nuzzle? Yeah, I can Nuzzle. You're very strong, and that's a plus one Psychic. On my super effective little guy, he was my fastest Pokemon, man. This indeed he's gonna rock me. Oh, I got Ice Shard. I got Ice Shard. Calm down. Everything's okay. Oh, help me, help me, help me. Metacham? I'm gonna keep... I know he's going to use a fighting move, but I have to heal my Skeledurge. If I don't heal Skeledurge right now, then I'm done. And I don't really have a lot of healing items. How am I going to beat this next battle? I got some max potions. I'll be alright. Unless this guy, like, really sets... Oh my gosh, high jump kick. I'm done. <laughs> Dude, high... you know high jump kick? <laughs> wow, high jump kick is so good. Alright, here we go. I, if I don't... If I don't get this KO, I'm, I'm down. Acupressure, what's that? Accuracy? Attack up? Evasiveness. Oh no. Oh, that's not fair! Dude! Dude, he's double teaming right now! No. No. Absolutely not. I'm not going to allow this to happen. All 
All right, he's playing cheap right now. Yo, dude, that's evasion. All right, you know what? That's fine. I'll meet you. He's plus six evasion. Oh my gosh, no way. It's fine. Check this out. He's going to play like that. I'm going to be right over here on the X defense, dude. I'm not eating a high jump kick. He's at max evasion right now, so all my moves are just going to miss. Right? Isn't that what he's doing? Oh, and... Oh, my gosh. Acupressure does something random every time? What? Oh, my gosh. Dude is boosting. Oh, thank you, man. Get out. Okay, dude. He just got... He got some good evasion over there. I'm like, dude, I'm not gonna let this happen. So, I had to really throw out the defense just in case he wanted to high jump kick me. Because we would have been spinning our wheels if he's just, like, evading everything. No way. That was really hard. Okay, good job. You made it all the way through the ESP exercise. You passed the test, no doubt about it. Congratulations. But you're not done yet. Sprint over to the lobby and tell the staffer on the double. You have to report your passing grade to the to finally finish the gym test. Okay, great. I love that. Thank you. That guy and his Metacham was annoying. I had to use two X defenses just to make sure that I didn't eat a high jump kick. Uh, oh, I'm not ready. I need to go heal up, man. Healing up after that. You've got a, um, what is that, Larvitar? His evolution, Pupitar? There's a Salazzle in the area. You also saw, like, a Sinistee. This is actually a really cool area to find some unique Pokemon. So, uh, once you get all of the, um, once you get all of your entire Coridon Maridon filled out, and he's packed with all of his moves, come over here. There's a cave right around the corner. And you get some really fun dragon type Pokemon on the inside of there. So like this is where we're like we're so close to having our dream team, right? Oof. Ready. Oof. Get out of here, man. He's like, what time is it now? He's walking over here. Come on. The time is to get this gym battle done. That's what time it is. And I hope Nimona's not over here either, man. Like I don't have time for that. I just gotta get my last badge and win. I'm going to do X speed. And then I'm going to be mindful of the fire song and use it whenever I can. I see you completed the ESP exercise, Abdallah. Congratulations, you passed the gym test. Now you've earned the right to challenge a gym leader. Best of luck. Are you ready to challenge the gym leader Tulip, the bewitching beautician? Yes, I am. Very well. Allow me to show you the battle court. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Uh, now remember, all these Pokemon are psychic and they may have dual typings like Gardevoir is a psychic fairy. Um... Gallade, psychic fighting, right? Just gotta watch out. I suppose you're right. Okay, okay, I'll get things moving here on my end. Let's keep the tagline simple. Naturally beautiful. And order the new eyeshadow color too, would you? Thanks, you're a doll. Gotta run now. Chat with you later. Hello there. I'm Tulip, the gym leader here. Uh, though I must tell you that being a makeup artist is my main line of work. Dendra has nothing but praise for you. She said you totally slayed out there. Huh, I must say, you are a cute challenger, Abdallah. I'm sure my ESP exercise made you all the more beautiful. Doesn't that make you happy? You keep your Pokemon beautiful and clean as well. I see you have quite the aesthetic sense. Appearance is equally important for both people in Pokemon. Makeup is like magic. Anyone can use it to change their appearance. Allow me to put my skills uh, to use to make your cute little Pokemon even more beautiful. Alright, let's go, Tulip. Let's do it. That's not good. Giraffe's normal psychic? Oh gosh, you're quite good. Uh, I don't know, you're a good base, she says. Dragon psychic, this thing probably has crunch. I need to get rid of my ghost typing. If he uses crunch, I'm done. So I have to use Torch Song. And then on my next turn, I'll use my... Um, 
I'll use my X speed and hopefully outspeed everyone with a plus two speed and a plus one special attack from this first torch song. That's my strategy now. I don't know what Farigarath is gonna do. But yeah, using throwing a shadow ball on it is not a good idea. And how am I naturally faster? Are you using like mirror coat? Oh gosh, help me. Crunch. I knew it. Now, that didn't do that much damage because I got rid of my uh, my ghost typing. So now I'm out here able to do two torch songs and outspeed the giraffe. Is that thing really that slow? Great. Now I'm at plus two special attack. This is this is good. Now I can snowball. Oh gosh. Uh, let's see. How many Pokemon does Tulip have? Dude, Cloth is just eating that experience. Uh, Palmo wants to learn Entrainment. Uh, remind me what that move is again. Uh huh. Making the ability the same as the users. No, I don't need that. Gardevoir. I don't think Gardevoir is going to know a water move. Or a ground move. So I'm set. Now the question is, do I go with another torch, uh, another fire attack, in order to get to plus three? Or do I just bust out the X speed? I think it's safe. Or do I just do the shadow ball at plus two? I think this is a safe bet. Psychic. Tell me I can take that. Please, 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 please. Holy moly, that's strong. Alright, 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 here we go. Um, I, that, that did a lot. I'm kind of going all eggs in one basket over here. Psychic Fairy. I'm at plus two. Shadow Ball should KO. If it doesn't KO, I lose. Good. Alright, so this is good. I wish every time you leveled up, your health replenished. Tauros wants to learn rest. No, we're good. You don't need a rest. Espathra. This is a brand new Pokemon for you. I don't think you've seen this. This is a solid psychic type. Could be faster. Could very well be faster. I don't know what it's going to try to do. I kind of want to low-key heal up. But I'm going to go. Good. Good. That speed stat is great, man. Give me that press A to win. Florgis is a straight fairy type. Straight fairy type? Is this her last Pokemon? Straight Fairy type with the ability to change into the Psychic type via Terra la Terrastalizing. Okay, I was going to say, I was going to use Shadow Ball either way, but I'm at plus two atta special attack and plus two speed. There's no way that Florgis is going to outspeed me if Espathra didn't and if Gardevoir didn't. So I think this is in the bag. This one's like the easiest gym battle we've had, and it's the last one, right? Like how anticlimactic. But I'm not going to count my chickens before they hatch, so here we go. Really bulky on the special attack side. Oh my gosh, it's over. Not kid. I'm just kidding. It's okay if you knock me out. I've got Ice Shard. Wow, dude. Floor just is... Oof. Yow, man. That's a very strong. How do we know something like that was going to happen? I said, don't count your chickens before they hatch. It's okay. I'm not freaking out because we have an Ice Shard that's going to go first on priority. And we win. That croc did very well. I needed, like, one more flame attack or whatever. So, good thing we got this guy to come on in and do an ice shard and help us out. So, I'm happy. Surviving on, like, one HP over here. Give me that ice shard. See ya. Only against me, man. Only against me. What a guy. da na 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 Okay, Tulip, thank you. That was great. Your strength has magic to it that cannot be washed away. 
Great. All badges, all titans done. Excellent. I lost the battle, and your beauty rivals even my own. I can't believe it. You're quite splendid. Yes, truly amazing. Perhaps I should take you under my wing before you make your big break elsewhere. I suppose I need to work on myself a little before I just run off and do such a thing. You've earned my gym badge. Allow me to strike one of my best poses to give it to you. Congratulations, Abdallah. Nice pose. I'm trying it. I'm trying my best over here. What's that yoga pose called? Any of you guys know? Any of you guys do yoga? No idea. With all eight gym badges, you'll be able to catch Pokemon of any level. They'll be a uh, good Pokemon and listen to your commands too. Yes. Yes. If you train hard, you'll be able to use this move in a totally perfect way. Okay, we got our Psychic, we got our Gym Badges. Man, now our team comes to life. Don't go uploading that selfie we just took to social media, okay? Wow. I think my makeup has run a little with all the moving and sweating I did during our battle. I need to fix it up fast before my next appointment. My schedule is absolutely packed, you know. Farewell then, you did splendid today. Wow. That was fun. What did you guys think? That's the that's all the gym leaders. Yeah, now we can go collect whatever Pokemon we want, and then we can go beat the Elite Four if we wanted to with those Pokemon that we're gonna catch. Abdallah, Skeledurge. You did it. Ah, oh, I'm so happy for you. This is the best. I know I said I wasn't worried, but my heart was still pounding the whole time. Most impressive, Abdallah. Shining display of talent, I must admit. Seriously, pat yourself on the back. You beat every single gym. Which means, indeed, now that you've gathered eight gym badges, all that's left is to take on the Pokemon League. I hope you stand alongside Nimona as a fellow champion. Head to the Pokemon uh, yeah, head to the Pokemon League. That is where you can take the champion assessment. Ta-da! Hurry and get up to my rank. I'm itching for a battle of equals. I've got to take the time um, while you're facing the Pokemon League to fine-tune my Pokemon's moves and revamp all my tactics. Well, good luck, Abdallah, and wish me luck, too. It's unusual for me to see her so excited, though perhaps not for you. She must really be happy that she finally has a friend who can keep pace with her own talents. There's a special kind of strength that can only be reached by com competing with a good rival. Count me among those eager to see how far you two can go. In any case, I'll be waiting for you at the Pokemon League Northwest of Mesa Goza. <laughs> Dude, we did it. It's great, man. That's great! We gotta challenge the Pokemon League next. Yes, we're spinning around a circle. What a great time. And that is a great, great stopping point. Next up on our list is getting rid of all of these Pokemon. They are off of my team. Except for Skeledurge, he can stick around and hang on to a Lucky Egg. But I got five Pokemon that I'm gonna be swapping out with and we're gonna end the game with them. It's gonna be so much fun. So, that being said, Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you guys have been uh, enjoying this series thus far. All these B-team babies, bottom of the barrel blasters, they're gone. They're going to get put in the boxes because we got work to do. Yes, this is the point I've been waiting for the entire time. As you can see, I didn't put a lot of effort into raising any of these guys um, because it's like, okay, you guys are just going to go in the boxes because I know exactly who I want in the end game. Are you ready for it? I don't think you can handle it. Anyway, you guys are great. Let's do this. Thanks for watching. All right, man, I am starving. It is literally dinner time. Uh, so I'm going to go get some food, guys. Thanks so much for hanging out today. Um, I have one more present for you guys. What do you guys think? Would you guys like another uh, tips and tricks tutorial video? Would you guys like that? I've been working on one more of them. I worked on a couple of them. I did like three of them today. Um, so would you guys like a, a quick upload once we're done over here? Yeah, once we're done. I think that'd be pretty fun. Okay, so here we go. Uh, I'm gonna make it in literally two minutes from now. I'll give you guys a quick upload of what it is. It's going to be a video showcasing some really fun Pokemon that you probably have never seen before. So I'm gonna put that up right now. It is currently scheduled on the 18th at 7.45 p.m., literally in four minutes from now. So do me a favor, head on over to that video, and um, let's see, throw some heart emojis on there. Yeah, yeah, give me some heart emojis on there and say that you came from part three's live stream and I'll go over to there and I'll heart every one of your comments. It'll be really fun. So anyway, you guys have it. Um, take a look, 
It'll be there before you know it. But that's it, guys. Thanks so much for hanging out today. I will see you guys tomorrow for some more Pokemon. Turn on your notifications so you know when I go live. Uh, it'll probably be right around the same time, and I really want to get into some shiny hunting very soon. I mentioned and teased a little bit earlier that we're going to be doing some shiny hunting, and I think it'll be really fun if I get some of you guys to play along with. And one of the ways that I'm going to be doing that is um, ideally giving a link code to some of the Abdala Nation elite members in our little message board over here at AbdalaSmash.com. Um, I think that'll be a really, really fun way of just like having you jump into my game. You don't have to have the strongest Pokemon. You can just come into the world and like help me shiny hunt. I think that would be really, really fun to do. So we might do that tomorrow or the next day. What do you guys say? Would that be really awesome? Anyway, if you guys want to join up for a chance at that, definitely uh, head on over to AbdalaSmash.com and join up. It's really easy. We're going to do some really fun game nights with that too. So anyway, thanks so much for watching. Thanks for all of your support. Shout out to the mods. Shout out to the chapter team, all of our current members, all of our elites, and all of you guys watching live. Thanks for being here. And we'll see you guys tomorrow for even more Pokemon. Go take a look at that new video that I'm going to uh, upload in just a little bit. And you know exactly what to comment on it, right? All right. We'll see you next time. Take care.